Are you okay? This brand new investigation agency is intended to specialize in the unsolved drug-related cases that are increasing in prevalence recently. We call it STAND. You are the elite few chosen to establish this force. Ministry of Health, Labor and Welfare Drug Control Department and MPD Investigation Section 1, we're counting on you. Sucky, I expect you will be responsible for scouting additional members. With all due respect, sir, the department I already work in is pretty new as it is. It might be kind of difficult for me to take that on. But Stand will require the best of the best to operate at its full potential. We need someone to recruit qualified members of the police, the DCD, and civilians to join us, regardless of their current assignments. It's an extremely pivotal role. Needless to say, we would feel much better if you'd accept the job, Seki. As I'm sure you can tell, this guy isn't interested in moving up the ranks. <laughs> well, if it's of any help, I know someone else who'd be perfect as a scout. Ray Izumi? I know that girl. Isn't she the enforcement official put on probation for botching a premises check a few days ago? We can't afford to trust a rookie like her with such an important position. Forgive me, sir. Hmm. But you're wrong. She's got the right ideals, and she'll always make sure justice is served. But most importantly, she has a talent that's hard to come by in the DCD. As her mentor, I will personally vouch for her. She's exactly... Hey, good morning! Uh, no one? Good morning, Ray. Huh? I'm glad you escaped. Escaped? Don't say that. Here, want some coffee? Uh, oh yes, thank you so much. So, uh, now what? Hmm? Mr. Seki and Mr. Itsuki haven't arrived yet. I'm sure you want to get the lecture out of the way, but you'll just have to wait. Uh. Natsume, uh. don't tease the poor girl to death. Anyway, morning. <laughs> oh, sorry, I gave her your coffee. Uh, uh this is yours? Take it! <laughs> no, please, ladies first. You pulled an all-nighter, right? Why don't you cut down on the caffeine and get some sleep instead? No thanks. I'd prefer not to take naps at work. Is he okay? He was saying he couldn't sleep because he was thinking about you, Izumi. Something along those lines. Don't twist it. Sorry. He meant that he was worried while you were on probation. All of us were to tell you the truth. It's good to have you back. Ah, here they are. I take it the meeting went well? Mm-hmm. Ray, long time no see. Mr. Seki, please accept my apologies for all the trouble I caused. As of now, my probation's finally been lifted. Right. I'm glad. <sighs> What's wrong? <laughs> You're looking kind of down today. Ta-da! It's everyone's favorite, as a little surprise present from yours truly. It'll be great! That came from Henri Charpentier. They call it the shortcake. You mean you're familiar with it, Itsuki? It's famous. So, am I dumb for not knowing? Oh, that's right. Watabe. Don't you have to get back to the MFA? Aw, oh, let me hang out. Did you forget what a big help I was in that meeting? Hey, I know. Why don't we make some more coffee? Sure.
So it's not police or DCD, but a brand new agency, and they're calling it STAND? Yeah, they're planning to put together an elite team. That's the rumor, anyway. And to think they're considering some civilian candidates as well. I'm surprised. It sounds like it's going to be a pretty intense job. Since we're discussing it, Izumi, uh -huh. there's something I'd like you to do. Really? What's that? It's a list. Read it carefully. Those are all candidates for stand. From this point on, you'll be the one responsible for scouting new members. Huh? Hey, that's a smart choice. I wish you could have heard the glowing reviews <laughs> you were getting from Aoyama here. We expect great things. Work hard, okay? Hey, watch it. Hmm? <laughs> but, sir, I... Refuse? No, I'll do it. <laughs> Try your best. Hurry up and eat, then. Now that you're on board, we've got no time to waste. I have to take you somewhere. All right, but can I ask where we're going? Take a look at that again, closely. <sighs> I'm not entirely uninvolved with this assignment. I'll do everything I can to support you. This worries me a little. Not only is she the scout, but once Stan gets to work, she'll be on the front lines for any related missions, right? Yeah, being that close to these unsolved drug-related cases, things are certain to get ugly. She must be scared. Aoyama knows that, but it's done. Nevertheless, <laughs> there's no one better suited to it than her. It's the right choice. Yui, how long have you been awake? Izumi's a super rare case, remember? Most types of drugs don't have any effect on her body. Which is bound to come in handy for her sooner or later. Don't look around so much. Oh, right. I'm sorry. Excuse us. Oh, Mr. Oyama, it's you. What brings you here? And who's she? Oh, great. Uh -huh. It's our favorite narc from the DCD. I don't recall inviting you. Asagiri, I see you're still just as exhausting to look at as you ever were. You don't have much right to talk. Okay, guys. That's enough. Let's relax. <laughs> so then, I guess this is the girl? Right. Izumi, meet Asagiri. That's Sugano. You remember their names from the list? They're both candidates for stand. <laughs> Mr. Hottery hasn't returned yet? At this point, I'd be surprised if he ever did come straight back. Who's Hottery? Oh, he's the chief of this section, and he'll be the one directing stand as well. <laughs> yep. I know nothing's been decided yet, but since he's our boss and everything, we're pretty much guaranteed to get the job. Oh. Actually, here's another candidate now. Hey, so say, you want to meet the girl everyone's been talking about? Or not? Hello, I'm Ray Izumi. I'm with the DCD. Honored to be working with you, sir. Oh, so say. No, wait. Come back. <laughs> Thank you. This isn't a game. If they interfere with your work, then don't wear high heels. I don't have time to babysit someone who's unqualified. Do better. I'm sorry. Don't worry, he talks to everyone like that. Our Akita's kind of a lone wolf. <laughs> Want to quit? Of course not. I decided to do this job, so I'm going to see it through. And this time, I... You already paid the penalty for your past mistakes, so you might as well move on now. You have to.
got distracted by something else, and I ended up interfering with a premises check. Someone with my experience should know better. Arakita may have hurt my feelings before, but everything he said was true. I blame myself. Completely. I'm sorry. This is so unprofessional of me, isn't it? I'll stop talking. Well, we've got some extra time. What you did that day wasn't a mistake. It was right. If there's one thing we know about you, Izumi, then I would say it's that you have a strong sense of justice. The choice that seemed right to you may not have been best from someone else's point of view, but that doesn't make it wrong. The other side of justice is another side of justice. The other side of justice is another side of justice? That's a saying I learned back when I was a rookie. I took that wisdom to heart, and I swore that I would always do what I believed to be just, even if other people may think it's evil. That's what this job is. Right. So, yeah, you weren't to blame for what happened. Mr. Seki might have said this too, but if one little rookie mistake spoiled the whole thing, then it was doomed from the start. Is that true, though? Yes. We're all a team. Thanks. I really appreciate that. Shall we? Sure. Here goes. Good morning. I assume you're on break right now? Obviously. I'm sorry. But I haven't had a chance to introduce myself properly yet. No thanks. Uh, I promise it won't take long. Wow, harsh. My poor girl. She seems like she's trying so hard. Please wait. Why would I when you have no business with me? Your assignment is to scout new members to join Stand, isn't that right? Well, I'm already going to join it. But I plan to keep as much distance as I can from you. So quit following me around. Listen, I intend to see this job through. And I don't know if I'll be able to do that if I don't have support from you and the rest of Investigation Section 1. That's why I need you to acknowledge me, Arakita. You know, I heard you had an unusual condition. They normally wouldn't trust a rookie like you with that position, but they made an exception because your body is immune to certain drugs. People around here see you as a little princess in need of protection. And if that's who you really are, then no, I can't acknowledge you. Oh. You must be the new damsel of the DCD. Hello there, sir. <laughs> Thanks for the coffee. Are you thinking about what a jerk I am for letting you pay? Uh, not at all. <laughs> Your face tells me you are. You're rather easy to read. So... How do you like Sose? Do you think you can tame him? What? I'm not sure I follow. Well, you're probably going to need the qualities of a lion tamer in order to get anywhere with him. That's all I'm saying. A lion tamer, huh? They're strict on others as well as themselves. But they can be gentle too. Even if they may seem harsh. You given up? No way. Good. I'm glad you're enthusiastic. While I've got you here, let me give you some advice in exchange for the coffee. Uh-huh. Hey, tell me something. Have you decided on who your first recruit will be? Uh. Bill, he's here. Who is this? Takaomi Hiyama, head of the Hiyama Group. 
one of Japan's largest financial firms. Oh, right, he's a huge celebrity. Well, apparently, there's another side to him that the public doesn't know about. He leads a quartet of highly efficient celebrity informants. It's a team that goes by the name of Revel. Informants? If you can convince them to join your cause, then I expect things will go a lot more smoothly. Like they say, he who controls the information holds all the cards. But can I find him? Of course you can, if you know where to look. Like where? Uh, if I had to guess, I'd try a fancy gala. Sorry, are you all right? Yes, pardon my clumsiness. Go and get her a new outfit, please. Uh, oh no, you don't need to. It's really not that bad. But... Don't worry, it's my fault. I'll be more careful. Well, if you ever need anything, just give me a call. Now, excuse me. Here, miss. Um, thanks. I appreciate it. Izumi? Uh, Mr. Aoyama! What's wrong? What are you doing here? I came to meet up with another candidate for stand named Mr. Hiyama. What are you doing here, though? I thought you were working on a different case today. Did you say anything to that man who approached you just now? Uh, no. I just kind of bumped into him. Let's see. Kujo. Hold on, is he? Another one of the stand candidates. That man's got a bad reputation. Don't go near him on your own. Come with me! Mr. Arkita, <laughs> what brings you here? The, uh, where's the client? He's safe with Sose. There's one problem, though. It looks like he ran into the DCD. What? <laughs> what are you up to? That's my line. What the hell's going on? These gentlemen with me have been hired to act as my bodyguards. You see, the Hiyama group received a serious death threat a few days ago, so we're exercising extreme caution now. But who would do that? And why? Well, when you're in the business of selling information, it's not really unheard of to make a few enemies along the way. It's possible that whoever sent the death threat could be responsible for starting the fire as well. Just try not to interfere. I'll get him. Hey! Izumi, don't be rash! Immobilized. Izumi! Right here, sir. You're safe? 
Yes. Uh, Mr. Hiyama? He's fine. Oh, thank goodness. Hello? We caught the suspect, and Hiyama's all right. Excellent news. Yo, tell me the truth. Did you know that she would be on the ship? She? Rei Izumi. Ah, sounds like you've changed your tune. Did you put her up to it? She's an intriguing person, as I'm sure you agree. Well, feel like being friends yet? Don't toy with me. It's just... She's so reckless, I can't bear to watch her. Does that mean you'll help her out? Yeah, I guess it does. I'd abandoned my heels back there. It felt weird to be barefoot in such a nice dress. I thought about how absurd I must have seemed. All scraped up and disheveled, with messy hair. Anyone would have thought that I looked like a disaster. Some strange reason, instead of being embarrassed, I was kind of proud of that. I felt like I could do my best again tomorrow, too. Like someone had given me a gentle push forward. You look cold. Thanks, I appreciate it. You okay? Do you need a ride? No, I'm fine. I'm actually just waiting for someone. Oh, a fellow narc, maybe. Or a cop. You're with Revel. You can call me Hattori, Rei Izumi. <laughs> you sure seem to be in a good mood, Hattori. I had a sweet little encounter. Again? Must be nice, Mr. Player. I told you about her, right? That strange woman I ran into? I'll introduce you to her next time, Maki. Please don't bother. Hey, we're back. Hi, everyone. <sighs> Izumi! You cut your hair. Where is it now? The part you cut off, what'd you do with it? Uh-huh. You threw it away. How... How could you do that? What's going on with him? It looks like he wanted her hair. That's not weird. You threw out valuable samples we're gonna need while we're figuring out your drug immunity. I think you're trying to kill me. <laughs> hmm? We finished the report. Turned it in. Good work, you two. Sounds like you had a rough time, though. I'm sorry to worry anyone, but thankfully my condition ended up saving me. Otherwise, I know I would have been in trouble. So at least we've learned that chloroform doesn't work on Izumi, which is great. But, oh, that hair. I'm... I'm really sorry. You don't need to apologize. <laughs> totally. Besides, it suits you like that. I see you opted for different shoes. I did. I'm not one to make a mistake and not learn from it. Right. No one could ever ask for more than that. Coming through. I brought a few treats in your honor today, Ray. A tasty little assortment of pastries from Ginza West. Thank you. I love these. Sorry, but do you have the time? Uh -huh. huh? He's right. Thanks. I'll have one later. Be safe out there. Where's she off to, anyway? A hot date with some famous guy. What the? You said before that you were still thinking about whether you'd join Stand or not. So then why are you helping me today? The simplest answer is I just wanted to, okay? The short hair really does look good on you. But what did your researcher boyfriend think when you cut it off? <laughs> Hold on, exactly how much do you know, Hattori? That's relative. But while we're asking each other questions, how much do you know about Revel? 
Hattori Otani, president of the IT company h &O Holdings. A truly gifted president who managed to turn his company into one of the best in Japan within just a year of being established. Keita Maki, the vice president of operations for the toy maker M Toys. He's the second son of the president, Junichi Maki, and he's created countless hit products. Aki Kagura, a candidate to be the next director of the popular apparel company, Flayosh. He's currently working as a fashion designer. And, well, as for Revel's leader... Oh. Thanks for the other day. Takaomi Hiyama. The president of Hiyama Realty, who also sits at the head of the world-renowned Hiyama Group. A real estate mogul who not only overcame the economic crisis, but strengthened his influence in the industry. If I'm understanding correctly, what you're leading up to here is an invitation for Revel to join Stand. Yes. Here's the thing. Stand's a revolutionary investigative agency. It isn't bound by the same old rules. It's an exciting time. I want you to know I hear you. Unfortunately, I have to get to an emergency meeting. Hope it's all right to stop here for today. You got it. Let's go, Ray. <sighs> Hattori. Hmm? Huh? Oh, you were here. Hiyama apparently had some meeting to go to. That's what the receptionist told us. Is this the one you were talking about? The new fresh face? Yep, this is her. You heading to the usual spot? We'll come along and join you. <sighs> Whoa, you're planning on bringing her with you? Why not? Let's get going. <clears throat> Wait, Hattori, come on! A narc came to scout us. Her name is Rei Izumi. It appears they're finally making their move, Mr. Kujo. It's on. I see. She doesn't seem to have caught on to our connection, but I'll keep you updated. Right. I'll talk to you later. So Stan, huh? <laughs> What's wrong? Uh, I've just never been anywhere like this. Let me ask you something. Is everyone here a celebrity? Give me a break. Who knows, right? You should probably ask Maki. That one never forgets a face. There's the president of Wakaba Trading Company and his guys. He's the music producer Hanabusa. Over there's Kanako, the model. That's enough. Oh, wow. You really do know everyone around here, don't you? Hey. Uh? Could you not act quite so friendly with Kay, please? Hey, there's no reason to snap at her, okay? Want a sip? It's good. I wish I could. Sorry, but I'm on the clock. Is that champagne? Yep. It's Grand Cru, vintage 1996. Runs about 500,000 yen. Totally! <coughs> Would you be more careful? <laughs> I'm so sorry. Calm down. It's fine. She didn't even hit you. Well, it'd be too late if she did. Of course. Can't damage the famous designer's tools of the trade, right? Shut your mouth, Hattori. <sighs> I'm really sorry. But next time, I'll be much more careful. There won't be a next time. Well, uh, I'm Izumi, and I'm working with the Ministry of Health, Drug Control Division. I was really hoping that I could have a word with all of you today. Not interested. Uh, it wouldn't hurt you to hear her out, would it? <sighs> so, you have some kind of drug immunity, right? Tell you what, if you can prove to me the drugs really have no effect on you, I'll give you a listen. Here you go. Kagura. What is it? What kind of drug? Don't know. If you're scared, you can always quit. Satisfied? Now will you listen to me? <laughs> you lose this one, Kakura. This is ridiculous. But you said... 
Sorry about that. By the way, it was just a vitamin, if you're wondering. <sighs> I think you probably realize this, but you went too far. That girl is definitely gonna be a pain. You should be careful too, okay? You don't need to worry. I have no plans to let anyone get close to me again. Jeez, man. I can't believe you still have that thing. I could make you a new one. No. This one's fine. Yeah, I just turned the corner. Good. Keep heading straight that way. <laughs> Is this weird? You had dinner plans for two, didn't you? Are you sure you don't mind me joining you tonight? Oh no, it's totally fine. You should be there pretty soon. It's a place called Abiento. Ah, found it. Oh, and by the way, I'm not joining you. Huh? Not to read? What the...? Why are you...? Uh, I'm sorry. I feel like I'm imposing on you. No, it's fine. So, is it true? What I've heard about Revel? Have you all really known each other since you were in school? Aki and I are childhood friends. And yeah, we've known the other two since high school. And then, you were informants? That all began in college. It started off as just the three of them at first. Then I got dragged in too. What do you mean, dragged in? That's how it always is. Story of my life. <laughs> Sorry about that. You don't need to worry about me. Shall we? Oh, right. I'm starving. <laughs> so good! We should probably head out. Sure, I'll pay my tab. It's taken care of. But you don't... You can put that away. Well... Hmm? This isn't much of a thank you, is it? No, it's good. I've never had ice cream like this before. Seriously? Come on, are you that shocked? <laughs> Mr. Maki, you're a kind man. Huh? Where'd that come from? I thought that while we were eating dinner, too. It occurred to me more than once that you're someone who's truly kind and caring. Tell me honestly, do you think that you would ever consider joining Stand? So I'm kind. <laughs> Look, I'm sure you're a very nice person, but it's best if you don't get any more involved with me. I'd rather avoid any trouble. Huh? You had dinner with her? There was nothing I could do. You've <laughs> gotta be kidding me! <clears throat> Oh, look at that. Now he's all mad. Hey, so tell me, how'd your date go anyway? She's really strange, you know? But like, in a good way. Hmm. Hmm. <sighs> oh. Hey there, Ray. Hey, Hattori. Is, uh, Mr. Maki... <laughs> hey, stop! You... The hell do you think you're doing? <laughs> Maki, don't. Mr. Maki? <laughs> Get out of here. Damn, man. Go and find some place to cool off, okay? Mr. Maki. Well, I guess he did it again. What do you mean? What did he do again? <clears throat> Mr. Kagura, that looks bad. Just stay away. This doesn't concern you, all right? Yes, it does. Uh, hey! The cut doesn't look deep, but we should still head to the hospital just in case.
Interesting. I do remember my buddy at the Community Safety Division telling me something about Keita Maki. He was apparently involved in a couple incidents that resulted in some injuries. I don't understand it. But still, one thing I do know is that I really want to believe in him. Then keep following that path. Trust your gut. <sighs> At least, that's what I think. Sorry to bother you now. It's Izumi. Hattori gave me your number, so... Careful. You might want to watch where you're going. Uh huh? <gasps> Mr. Kagura? What are you doing here? You know it was ridiculously easy to find out where you lived. Huh? Calm down. Could you not jump to weird conclusions? Here. Just came to return this. <sighs> Wait, two of them? You can just have both. The cut wasn't that deep. But still, I am... Wait a minute. Are you thanking me? You don't have to look so stunned, you know. No, I'm not stunned. I really appreciate it. <sighs> so then, what were you calling me about before? It's regarding Mr. Maki. <clears throat> I'd like to know what happened. I was hoping you could tell me about that day. <clears throat> That guy put his hands on me first, that's the truth. I got backed up while we were arguing. Then this. So we got into it with that man for your sake? I know how it looked, but Kay's a good guy. <sighs> you should ask him to tell you about the rest. <clears throat> but isn't it closed? Do you ever stop talking? Shut up and trust me. <laughs> oh, hey! It looks like your friends arrived just in time. What are you guys doing back here? It's the weirdest thing, but my neck still hurts like hell from being strangled. Hospital bills, those are expensive. Yeah, I heard all of you guys were from rich families. You wouldn't want any trouble then, would you? <sighs> How much? Kay, you can't! Hey, this one catches on quick. No, stop this! Why don't you try minding your own business? Hey! <sighs> Oops-a-daisy. Uh-oh, sorry. No offense there, sweetheart. You doing okay there? What the hell are you doing? <laughs> 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 How dare you! Apologize to them now! Apologize! Mr. Maki! It's okay. We're both fine. You don't have to do this. Where'd Kay go? Over there. You're not gonna get mad? Kay's trigger is whenever someone important to him gets hurt. Hard to be angry at that. Huh. I'm still not sure about her, but... I'm in the mood to let things slide today. Sure you don't want one? It's good. Listen, are you okay? Your face? Oh yeah, it's just a scratch. Thanks again, by the way. For what? All I did was lose control. Don't do that. Don't be ashamed of your instinct to protect us. I stand by what I said. You're a kind person. You still believe that? Have you heard of the anonymous case? I haven't. It's an unsolved case from 15 years ago. They call it anonymous because the victim went unidentified for six months after dying a suspicious death. While on the run from the authorities, the suspect paused long enough to kidnap a child. 
<laughs> Mr. Maki, I'm so sorry. You're saying you were the child? I never want to go through anything like that again or see anyone else have to. But I end up going berserk when I get angry. I want to protect the people around me, but all I do is cause them trouble. I'm sick and tired of being this way. Please don't get involved with me. For your own good. Causing trouble? I don't think anyone else sees it that way. I mean, Mr. Kagura and Hattori, and even Mr. Hiyama. You're obviously so important to all of them. And you got angry because they're important to you. Anyone who's around you guys for two minutes can see there's no way they'd ever abandon you. And the same goes for me. Mr. Maki, if you're going to try to face the part of yourself that you dislike the most, I think they'd want to stand by your side and help you do it. We can't do those things alone, but if we have friends, that changes everything, you know? Let me ask you one more time. Would you be willing to consider helping out Stand? You've known true fear, and yet your first natural instinct is still to protect others. And I believe in that. You know, there's one thing. I wish you weren't quite so formal with me. Does that mean...? I don't know whether or not I'm joining Stand yet. But I'll think about it. Yep, that's good. I kept hearing his words over and over on repeat in my head. Please don't get involved with me, for your own good. That really hit me hard. He's always looking out for others. I'm sure there's so much pain buried in that kind heart. I can barely stand it. But his rare smile when he said thanks was unbelievably warm. I look forward. Hey, we're here. So, what have we got? That's funny, I thought it was your job to figure that out. It's not like I called you guys out here for a field trip. So, are those the drugs? I've definitely never seen this drug before. Wonder if it's new. Where's the owner? Locked up. He was arrested because he went berserk downtown last night. Question him if you want to. We've got him at the precinct. I can go. Great, thanks. And you know what? I think we should have Kotaro take a look. You managed to get Mr. Hiyama to introduce you to the next stand candidate? I gotta say, that's impressive. <laughs> a best-selling author, huh? Must be nice having such fancy connections. Oh, stop. You're coming with me this time anyway, aren't you? Sorry! <laughs> Do you think maybe you could ask one of the others to go with you today? I've got a bunch of reports piled up, so... <laughs> Not him. Try the narc guys. They've been wrapped up in another case all morning. I guess there was a guy arrested who had some kind of new drug on him? Mm -hmm. Mr. Asagiri's covering it on your end. Oh, yeah, that's right. Well, why not go by yourself? Only option, really. I didn't think I was allowed to. Mr. Aoyama said to bring someone with me. Hmm? Uh, Mr. Hattori? Oh, Magato Suzuki. Huh. Isn't he the king of sappy, tearjerker novels? Sose, you're a big fan of his, right? <laughs> no. Shut up. Um... Gotta say, surprised you're a romance fan. Can we not? Right, new subject. Uh... So, I've been wondering about something. Mr. Suzuki is this genius novelist who keeps writing one crazy hit after another, despite the fact that he's so young, right? And then you've got his younger brother, Kyosuke, who's a popular actor, and he's also listed as a candidate for Stand. Is it typical for the police to ask novelists and actors to aid them in their investigations? They seem like odd choices to me. One of Stan's primary goals is to try to explore new ways of solving cases that have never been considered before. I hear you on the actor thing, but as far as Master Suzuki... 
As far as Mr. Suzuki is concerned, they're considering him to potentially help profile suspects. Interesting. Oh, right, I forgot Mr. Suzuki actually used to write crime novels, didn't he? Yeah, he did. Now the police even consider him to be a reliable resource. Great, I'm excited. I hope he'll agree to help us out today. Look, calm down. This isn't a game, okay? I'm sorry. Anyway, we don't know how reliable he'll actually be. The police could be wrong. Didn't you research how many series he's writing now? But I thought I read about some rumors recently that he's possibly considering retirement. Could have sworn. So you're one of those, huh? A person who believes rumors? Uh, I'm not. You were really planning to meet him using unsubstantiated information like that? You need to do better. Of course. Oh man, he's even scarier today. Um, my name is Izumi, and I have an appointment with Mr. Makoto Suzuki. We've been expecting you. Go on up. Yes? N Hello, I'm here on Mr. Hiyama's referral. My name is Izumi. <laughs> I'm Makoto Suzuki. So basically... We were just hoping you might be willing to utilize your exceptional observation skills and ability to read people to help us with our work. I'm sure you'd like some time to think it over, and I understand. But if you could just let us know... That's enough. Uh... I said that I've heard quite enough. That sounds excruciatingly tedious to the point that it makes me feel physically ill. And if you believe you can distill my abilities down to something as commonplace as reading people, I can only imagine what you're going to say next. I'm sorry. I know you came all this way to see me, but I'd like for you to go. Um, little help here? <laughs> Look, I'm sorry if I insulted you. I want you to know that's not even close to what I was going for. But listen, I can't just up and leave now that I know that's what I've done. Is there any chance of convincing you to consider hearing me out again? There are two reasons I can't take on this request. The first is work-related. I'm rather busy right now. And due to certain personal reasons, I may be ending all of my current series. <sighs> so, since I'll most likely wrap them up soon, I'll need to do everything I can to ensure that I can come up with endings my readers will be satisfied with. I simply have no time to take on a side job right now. As for the second reason, that one's rather personal. In my experience, narcs are incompetent. I don't trust them at all. Quite simply, as long as narcs are involved, I have zero intention of cooperating. You know, you need to work on your game face. You looked openly disappointed in front of him. Yeah, I know. I just never expected him to be quite so blunt. It was hard to hide my shock. Mm, yet you managed a parting shot. Pretty audacious leaving those papers and telling him you'd be back. So weird. He is ending his series. Well, what if he does? It's work. If it became too personal, he'd probably keep seesawing back and forth. Right. These are the drugs we confiscated. Down at the precinct, I questioned the guy who had these on him. He kept swearing up and down that these pills are perfectly safe because they aren't addictive. Huh? Seriously? And that makes them safe? Where'd they come from? He refused to tell us. Kotaro! How's the analysis going? It's going. There was one thing that concerned me, though. It's familiar. It has similar components to another drug in our database. Enough to be striking. The street name is Plus. <laughs> Haven't seen it for a while. It made the rounds maybe ten odd years ago. Interesting. What type of drug is it? That's unknown. Wait, what? All we had were the results of its component analysis. By itself, that's not complete or sufficient data. There might be more detailed information kept elsewhere, who knows. But that's all I've got. Hmm. All right. Yui, continue the analysis and keep us up to speed. Natsume, think you could take another look through the database? Huh? Go through the entire thing and make sure there isn't any other information concerning PLUS. 
Come on, that's a needle in a haystack. Kotaro already said he couldn't find anything. Aren't you a firm believer in getting off work on time? Then you better believe we're gonna work you as hard as a racehorse while you're on the clock. Hey! <laughs> um... I was just wondering if there was something I could do to help. Your scouting duties should be your priority. <laughs> Izumi. Huh? I guess it didn't go well today. I mean with Suzuki. Not really. It was kind of discouraging. Sorry I haven't been able to help you out lately. No, don't worry. I'm doing fine. And Mr. Arakita was even kind enough to call me audacious. That's something. <laughs> I had no right to decide on your own. Actually, I had every right. Why are you always like this? Uh. Fine. Uh. Oh, I see. So you're the one who came earlier and left those stand documents with him, huh? Must be cool, being a narc. Yeah, uh, it is, thanks. <laughs> There's no need to be so nervous, Miss Ray. Miss Ray? You can feel free to call me Kiyosuke. I prefer things less formal. Oh no, did I say something weird? Uh, nothing like that, I swear. Just thinking about how you're nothing like your brother. Get that all the time. I mean, he's actually talented. That's not what I meant. <laughs> yeah, I know, I kid. Sorry you had to overhear our drama earlier. And for screwing up your meeting with my brother. Oh, it's fine. Seriously, he was never gonna welcome me back anyway. So are you familiar with my brother's novel, Being in Love in the Center of the World? They're turning it into a live-action drama, and they've just offered me the leading role. That's amazing. But my brother's refused to agree to it being made at all. <sighs> Apparently it's because he's planning on quitting everything, so he doesn't want to deal with an adaptation now. But he shut it down so quick, it pissed me off. And that's why I went to see him. So I guess you really wanted that role, huh? Of course. It's not like offers to star in one of my brother's works come around every day, so I was really excited. And then, he didn't even discuss it with me. There's obvious concern there about him finishing his books, but he keeps telling me not to worry about him. I'm his brother, though. So of course I'm going to worry, you know? You two are close, then? Hmm. We've always had a pretty special bond. It's really nice. <gasps> a little sister. Hello. What are you doing here? Well, I just... it's... Miss Ray? Oh, both of you. Think you can take over here. I really need to get back and finish some work. Sure. Sorry. Are those... for Sara? I'm sorry about this. For researching your sister without permission, I mean. It's fine. You just surprised me, that's all. It's not like we were trying to hide her or anything. I guess she's already out for the day. Too bad. I'd like to introduce you. She's a great kid. So, she was in a car accident? Yeah. 
It happened 16 years ago. She's been in this state ever since. She's on meds to keep her comfortable, but they make her sleep most of the time. The guy who was driving was a junkie. According to the officer who was in charge of the case, when the accident happened, he was right in the middle of an overdose. As for the aftermath, I guess you could say it was complicated. The identity of the suspect, the drugs he was using, everything in the case was left unanswered and unsolved. They basically acted like the incident with Sara never happened. Believe me, my brother hates the misuse of drugs just as much as you guys do. It's just, that narc didn't help our family at all back then. I'm so sorry. Hey, you don't need to apologize, Miss Ray. But, uh, it might be hard to get my brother to join you. He's not the type to ask for help, which usually works out fine, because he's able to do most things on his own. My brother doesn't rely on anybody. In fact, I don't think I've ever felt like he's needed me, either. Weird, right? <laughs> Kyosuke. <laughs> the anonymous case. Wait. Have you heard of the anonymous case? case where Mr. Maki was kidnapped as a child. But why am I getting hits for this when I searched for drug cases? <sighs> Summary of the anonymous case. A victim who seemed to have died under suspicious circumstances was found in the city. It has been rumored that this case may have involved drug smuggling. At the time, the Ministry of Health, Labor, and Welfare had their eyes on a certain drug smuggling organization. The people at the top of this organization are influential figures in the medical field. There are rumors that even the Cujo family has ties with them. Cujo. <sighs> there are so many candidates that have some kind of history with drug cases. I'm overthinking it. Aren't I? <gasps> Mr. Suzuki? It's Izumi. Anyone home? <sighs> Excuse me. <sighs> Mr. Suzuki? Pardon me. But today... Uh, hey, hold on. Wait, what? What do you think? Should I call an ambulance for him? Oh no, if he's asleep, it's fine. I'll have him get checked out tomorrow. Overworking, anemia, lack of sleep. I can think of a ton of reasons why this would happen. I'll head over right after I'm done filming. But until then, would you mind... Of course. I feel so helpless. Is there anything else I should do? Um, wait. Today's Thursday, isn't it? That means he might get a visit from his publisher. I'm sorry about this. That must be it. Goodness. Sorry for coming in without permission. Although I did contact oh. Kyosuke when I found you. What time is it? Oh, you don't have to worry about your manuscript, okay? I already handed it over to your publisher for you. <sighs> Listen, why would you push yourself this hard? That really doesn't concern you. 
Well, Kiyosuke was worried about you too, and forgive me, but he also mentioned that you wouldn't discuss anything about your work with him ever, and it made him sad. You're not actually quitting though, are you? What are you talking about? When I went into your office, I accidentally saw your computer. Oh, I totally didn't read it that carefully though. But you read it. I'm so sorry. Doesn't matter. Not like it's something that shouldn't be read. <laughs> I noticed. It did seem like a pretty drastic departure from the rest of your work. Of course it is. I'm writing an adventure novel for kids. <laughs> you care about your older brother, and there's nothing lame about that. When you gave me that slightly embarrassed smile, I felt like I saw you as a child. You really don't look at all like your brother. He always has such a serious expression. Although, his gentle nature... And his rare, kind smile. They're just as beautiful as the worlds he creates for the people he loves most in the world. I'm one of the candidates for state. Actually, anyway. So, um, if you'd be up for getting together to talk about stand, we should do that. During the week works, too. It kind of defeats the purpose if you're working, though. See, I'm attempting to ask you out on a date. Oh, now I get it. Uh, what? Come on, go out with me, Miss Ray. Come on in! Sorry about the wait. All right, beers all around, guys. Except for Ray here and her shochu. Thanks for the round. Really? You're starting off with shochu? Yeah, why? Is that weird? Are you really not sold on your salad yet, or what's going on with that? Oh, I was just studying the presentation. Uh, I mean, never mind. Mm -hmm. Okay, I think it's time to raise a glass. Good work this week, everyone. Bottoms up! How's Mr. Suzuki doing? Is he any better? It sounds like he's doing just fine now. The doctor said it was from overwork. So you're getting the hang of scouting, and you're even taking care of people in all your spare time. That's my Izumi. Take it and run, girl. Yui, would you please stop playing with the drinks? It's an important experiment, I'll have you know. Okay, and done. Why? What did I do? Wait, so Stan's already acquired Section 1, isn't that right? Mr. Hattori, Mr. Asagiri, Mr. Arakita, and Mr. Sugano, I think? Right. And you've made great contacts. You've met all four members of Revel, for instance, and the Suzuki brothers, too. You've even managed to gain their trust. That's... well, I'm impressed. Uh, thanks for that. I appreciate it. <laughs> so I guess you're holding off on scouting Mr. Suzuki for right now? We'll have to try some other candidates for the time being. Maybe his brother? Yeah, you should. This is him, right? Mr. Young Heartthrob Kyosuke Suzuki. His fans call him Kyon. Ah, that guy. I literally heard him called the Ratings Prince the other day. You've already made contact with him, haven't you? <laughs> Izumi? Okay, I'm new at famous people, but is it normal for them to call you awkwardly throughout the day and ask you to dinner and flatter you and stuff like uh -huh. that? Uh-huh. Hold on! It's that creep hitting on you? No, that can't be it. He's just teasing me. Give me a break. He's going after that body of yours. Uh, uh, uh. Not everyone's the same as you, Kotaro. Anyway, what kind of monster would put his hands on Rei? No, this actually concerns me a bit. Rei is a lovely young lady. And he's an entitled celebrity who's been around. She could have the best of intentions and still be blindsided by someone like him. Izumi? I've got a buddy in community safety. They have a really good self-defense spray. I'll get one of them for you. Just do your best not to be alone with him. Okay, thanks, Dad. Don't do that. Mr. Seki is coming from a good place. If this guy's pushing you that hard, 
And does that mean he's decided to join? Well, no. The truth is, he won't agree to join Stand yet because he's afraid I won't go out with him if he does. So why not just date the guy already? Stop! You can't be serious! Hey, don't let these guys get to you. Of course, it would help if you kept dating Stand prospects down to a minimum. Now, now. No need to worry. If anything happens, we'll save you. Or more accurately, most of us will anyway. Not it. What a shock. <laughs> Is that an article on Makoto? Uh, what's your problem? Don't sneak up on me like that! I'm sorry, I said I was coming in. I'm so glad he decided to make an announcement about it. Like it matters to me. Oh, come on. Give it up. Don't act like you haven't been grinning at that article since yesterday. Sugano, I will hurt you. Ooh. <laughs> uh, Mr. Asagiri, I was asked to deliver this. Got you running errands between your scouting? Just helping out. They're all so busy with that mystery drug case. That must be rough. Oh, hey, why don't we go grab some lunch? It's time for my break anyway. Natsuki, <clears throat> don't you still owe me a report? <clears throat> if you're hungry, <clears throat> I have one of my favorite noodle bowls. Now have a seat. Right, that looks great. Thanks. Glad that's all settled. Have a good one. Thanks, I appreciate that. Izumi. Maki, what a surprise. What are you doing here? Covering for Hattori. Looks like you're taking off. Are you headed home? Mm-hmm. Well, guess you've got perfect timing then. Mm -hmm. Hey there, Miss Ray. Mm -hmm. Kyosuke? You surprised? My brother isn't Revel's only client, you know. Nah, I'm kidding. I was actually just asking Kay a little bit about you. Oh, that's why he said that about timing. You keep turning me down via text, so I thought I would ask you in person. You're off tomorrow, aren't you? Got any plans yet? Well, uh... Sara's birthday is coming up, so I thought... Would you mind helping me pick something out for her? Maybe? You know, I'd be happy to. <sighs> it's so crowded around here. You'll be okay? Never fear! No one ever sees through my disguise. Let's go! <sighs> out the perfect present thanks to you. I'm glad I could help. Oh, wow. Look over there. Those look amazing. Come on, let's split one. <laughs> what is it? Just you. You look like you're having so much fun. Because I am having fun. We're on a date, right? I'll be honest. All I was hoping for was that you'd finally have a chance to step out of work mode and enjoy the day with me. I think you accomplished that. I can't remember the last time I had this much fun. You mean it? Awesome. Doesn't he look like Kion? Uh, oh, wow. He does. Busted. Let's bail. <laughs> <sighs> oh, man. Sorry to make you run. I kind of panicked. It's fine. That was kind of a close one, huh? Too close. In that moment, all I could see in my mind were cheesy headlines about some steamy new love affair. Though now that I think of it, if the headlines were about you, I wouldn't mind much. There you go with the teasing again. Miss Ray, come on. You know I'm being honest with you. Look, it's just so complicated. It's my brother, isn't it? The thing is, he's... Your brother is a potential stand candidate. And you are too. That's true. Which means, 
As soon as my brother joins Stand, this'll all be over and you'll instantly forget about me. Life's brutal, man. Or I might just join immediately if you can look me in the eye right now and tell me you like me. <laughs> I'm not saying that. Aww. <laughs> Hey, hey, hey! Watabe, man of the people, has brought you treats again! Uh... Uh... What's up? Hmm... So finding information on this mystery drug is even more difficult than you thought it would be. It's baffling that we still don't know what it is or where it's coming from. Kotaro's running the component analysis and we'll have that soon. And Natsume is looking into Plus since it was so similar. Come to think of it, does anyone know where he is? Maybe he went to wash up or something. By the looks of it, he was here all night. Hmm. Your hands are full, aren't they? Yeah, I haven't really been able to help out with that case at all. That's only because you've been busy with your own work. You're far too nice, which is why he keeps messing with you. <laughs> Am I missing something? Who do you mean? Ray here has an admirer. Kyosuke Suzuki keeps asking her to go out. But it's not like they're real dates or anything. Wow. First some socialites and now a big actor? Turns out you're a pretty smooth operator, Ray. No, I'm not. Figured it out. I finally got the component analysis for the mystery drug. It's not just similar to the plus that circulated 15 years ago. The drug we've been studying is plus. <sighs> Find out everything you can, both on this and on the drug commonly known as plus. Roger that. Uh. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. What's going on, Kyosuke? Miss Ray, it's my brother. He was taken by the police. <gasps> oh, he went with them to be questioned voluntarily? <sighs> That's good. I thought he'd been arrested. Sorry, I kind of panicked. <sighs> it's all right. I would have done the same thing. Hmm. The police had sent him summons to come down to the station, but apparently he had been ignoring them. If he declined again, they were going to issue a warrant on suspicion of concealing evidence or something. They thought your brother might be hiding some kind of evidence? Pertaining to what? They weren't willing to tell me anything, but I did overhear the detectives. It's weird. They kept saying the word anonymous. Anonymous? Could it be the anonymous case? Is Makoto involved in that? Who knows? I have no clue. Never heard of it before. But there's just no way that my brother did anything bad, you know? I mean, he's the kind of guy who always does what's right. Always. And I'm so proud of him for that. I never did stand a chance against him, though. He's the son that my parents were proud of. I was always just a runner-up. Everyone I've ever liked has wanted him instead. That sounds hard. Sorry. What am I talking about? Just ignore me. It's nothing. Can I tell you something? I like you, Kyosuke. Uh, You're a nice guy, and a pretty charming one, too. Wait, you really think I'm charming? <laughs> well, thanks. I don't know what's going on, but I'll help you if I can. I'll look into this for you and see what I can find out. I owe you one, Miss Ray. Yes, I'm heading back now. Thanks. <gasps> Hello, Izumi here. Hey, I heard Suzuki was taken away by the police. So you already know. Sure do. And I heard they were questioning him about the anonymous case. Listen, don't worry about me, okay? We are going to be looking into this matter, too. Though we obviously won't be asking the police about it directly. And Makoto? He'll be out soon, won't he? If it's just standard questioning, then yeah, they shouldn't hold him for days or anything. But still, you should know. Those brothers are headed for trouble. What's going on? What is this? Hyun's big brother was taken? Wow, crazy! 
There's no formal word from the police, causing much speculation amongst fans. Speaking of Mr. Suzuki, his younger brother is currently working as an actor and has become a bit of a success himself. Yes, and one can only wonder if this might begin to affect his work. Who knows how this could affect the ratings for his current TV drama. My, my, listen to that heavy sigh. I can't blame you. They're not holding back on Mr. Suzuki. Nothing else big in the news right now, either. You concerned? Shut up. Hmm. I think you're worried about the new damsel. Uh, uh, she's such an empathetic soul. I bet she's probably a mess right now. Uh, I guess she finally won you over, too, so say. How surprising. Oh, please, I've barely even acknowledged her. <laughs> Welcome back. How'd it go? Oh, I just followed up on a few leads, but I didn't find anything. I don't know why he was looking at the anonymous case, and I couldn't discover how he might have been involved. It's so strange. Interesting. It is unusual that no other details have been released, so I'd bet Section 1 has some kind of gag order about the case. Or maybe, only a select few from Section 1 even know about it at all. Yes, that's what Revel thought, too. I asked if they thought there was anything we could do about all the awful negative comments, but for now they said they'd just have to deal with it. Hey, look, you should probably get some rest, Ray. You look a little pale to me. Nah. Were you taking those back to the library? I'll take them for you. You've got to relax. Uh -huh. No good will come from you panicking. <laughs> hey, Ray! There's about to be a press conference with Kyosuke Suzuki. <sighs> for all the trouble and the confusion, I am truly sorry. So as my agency has already announced, it's not true. The reports of my brother, Makoto Suzuki, being arrested are false. Right now, he's cooperating with the police. He's gone along with all of their questioning. I can't talk about why he's being questioned, because it will affect their investigation. But is he really just being questioned? He's a crime novelist. You don't think he got tired of writing about criminals and decided to become one himself? Isn't it possible that your brother was involved in a crime and you just had no idea? No, it's not. I firmly believe in Makoto. He's awkward, but he loves us. I'm proud of my brother. <laughs> What's wrong? I'm sorry, but I really need to go. Did you need something? I came here regarding Makoto Suzuki. The media has been reporting that Makoto was actually arrested. The press is being ruthless, with both Makoto and Kiyosuke. There's been so much speculation going around that it's getting out of control. I thought, isn't there any way you could at least announce that he wasn't arrested? I realize that I may be out of line, but those two are truly suffering right now due to the awful treatment they've been getting. Please! This is me. I'm begging you! There's nothing to talk about. Please leave. I'm sorry, damsel, but you don't get a say in this. <laughs> I mean, after all, this is our job, you know? What do you mean? Well, more specifically, it's Stan's job. <sighs> That's right. Though it's publicly known as Section 1's investigation, it's actually Stan that's holding him right now. Why didn't you... Why didn't I tell you about it? Isn't it obvious? It's because you're nothing more than a scout, kid. You're an outsider. <sighs> the sound of the cold, driving rain fills my ears. 
The belief that I'd been progressing on this path was completely shattered with a single word. If the guidepost I'd seen in the distance and the light within my heart were both mere illusions. Oh, hey. Then where am I headed? Where am I supposed to go? been reporting that Makoto was actually arrested. The press is being ruthless with both Makoto and Kiyosuke. I thought, isn't there any way you could at least announce that he wasn't arrested? I'm begging you! I'm sorry, damsel, but you don't get a say in this. I mean, after all, this is our job, you know? Specifically, it's Stan's job. Why didn't you... Why didn't I tell you about it? Isn't it obvious? It's because you're nothing more than a scout, kid. You're an outsider. <sighs> Mr. Hattori got it right about me, and that's the worst part. At some point, I think I let myself believe I could be a real asset to stand. I mean, as more than just a recruiter. I thought maybe my body's resistance to drugs would end up being like a superpower for the team. Work hard, and you never give up. I believe you take this job seriously. But you're dangerously naive. Anyone can see how badly you want to be a real part of Stand. But right now, you would just be a burden. Hey, I heard that Ray's scouting duties have been put on hold. Yeah, I was only notified about it this morning. So now, the higher-ups are gonna be the ones in charge of scouting for Stand. She's been ordered to go back to her normal duties till there's a new candidate for the position. Wow, did you tell her? Yeah, I did. She just gave me a smile, said to give her all the work that she hadn't been able to do lately. Noble as ever. <laughs> well. If that's the case, maybe I'll go ahead and ask her out on a date. I could even use some PTO. Slow down there, kid. Why don't you head on home? <laughs> Little protective dad? Aw, you old softy. <sighs> Please stop calling me that. <laughs> Scouting duties put on hold. That means she must have done something wrong, don't you think? If it has anything to do with her going to the MPD yesterday, then I feel totally responsible. I keep thinking that maybe I should have stopped her. But she honestly seems to be doing okay. I thought she'd be more visibly upset, but she looks pretty normal. I'm sorry, but are you two completely blind? <clears throat> Look, her shoulders are bent six more degrees than usual. The sides of her mouth are also 2.2 millimeters lower than normal, and her conjunctiva are slightly bloodshot. Curse all of you! What if Izumi's insanely rare DNA makeup ends up changing from all of this emotional stress? I mean, seriously, what if all her hair falls out? Any chance I could get you to stop being a weirdo? Well, this is interesting. Who would have thought you'd ever bother to give me a call about work? So, what brought this on then, Asagiri? Look, don't even worry about it. You can rest assured that my feelings toward you haven't changed a single bit. What a coincidence. We actually agree on something. How's she doing? Why are you asking me? She can tell you herself. <sighs> so this was your department's doing. What do you want me to say? We're doing our job. If that's the case, then what are you so concerned about? Rookie or not, she'll be able to understand that. I'm not concerned about it. Hmm. I mean, you're her mentor, right? Worrying about her is your job. Huh? <sighs> 
Time to shut things down. Oh, right. I'll finish this up real quick. Might want to hurry it up. Get going before they drag you out with them. Huh? You all ready to take off? I'll go ahead and make the reservation. Yeah, I think so. Thanks for that. Should we invite Mr. Watabe, too? Yeah, sure. I don't see why not. <laughs> don't push yourself. Hiding your feelings isn't going to help anything in the long run. They won't go away just because you ignore them. If you want to move forward, you'll need to face them head on. I, uh... Go on, I'm listening. It's rough, you know? No control, not being able to help. I mean, I couldn't do anything about Makoto. I couldn't even help Kyosuke out when I wanted to. I may have this unique condition, but it doesn't make any difference. Mr. Arakita saw through me completely. Everyone was only humoring me, and I was so oblivious. At this rate, I really am just a burden. I'm so pathetic. I can't stand it. I'm sorry, this is awkward. I've said too much. <laughs> know what, though? My heart doesn't feel as heavy as before. So thanks for listening, I appreciate that. Ray! You about done for the night? Oh, I, uh... Izumi's already gone. But... She's not here. Well, then I guess it's just us tonight. Sounds like it, come on. <laughs> Hurry up. Right. Um, what was... I'm sorry if you wanted to go, but if we'd gone to drink with them, I couldn't guarantee that you'd come home with me. <gasps> what are you doing? Come on in. But it's just that it's already pretty late. I would hate to be a bother or anything like that. Lock that door behind you. Wow, this place is amazing. Are you hungry? Uh, yeah, I actually sort of am. I'll whip something up. Really? You seriously put all of this together just now? Huh? I mean, look at this presentation. Don't mention this at work, okay? Are you kidding? This is so good! Even your sides are totally delicious. <laughs> Thank you so much for this, for going through the trouble. Go ahead and eat up. Then once you're finished, I have something to show you. Hmm? Hey, you know me, all business. You didn't think I only brought you here to cheer you up, did you? What are all these? Those are the results of some research I've been doing for a while into an incident involving a harmful drug. Harmful in what way? Well, there was this certain pharmaceutical company that was manufacturing a new drug, but it was never completed because there were problems during the clinical testing. Those problems were significant enough not to move forward. There were participants in the clinical test who had some pretty sudden and terrible side effects during the trial. Dizziness, nausea, in some cases, test subjects even had seizures. I can see why it wasn't completed. Yeah. Sadly, the company acted too late, and the victim list grew far too quickly, just one after another. Sixteen years ago. <laughs> It was 16 years ago? Wait a minute. Then were those two car accidents? What are you saying? 16 years ago, Kyosuke and Makoto's little sister was involved in a car accident. Apparently the driver was under the influence of some kind of drug. And also, 
I encountered a major accident 16 years ago when I was just a little kid. A nature park. A car crashed into it. <laughs> In the amusement park? <sighs> yes, that's exactly where it happened. In the amusement park in the forest. I'm familiar. I know the incident well. Mr. Aoyama? Why are you doing this? What made you decide to start looking into this case on your own? Because the Aoyama Trading Company. My dad's business. Turns out they were directly involved in funding that new drug. Aoyama Trading Company? That huge... Uh, wait, does that mean you're... You're actually the son of... Yeah. Hold on. There's something I don't understand. Neither of those were reported as drug-related incidents. Not the park, nor the accident with Kyosuke's sister. That's because there's more to this story. In order to avoid an enormous amount of reputational damage to the company, they put a different spin on the whole thing. Both of these incidents were dismissed as being mere traffic accidents, nothing more. And they made it look like the new drug was never created in the first place. So that means... <gasps> it was complicated. They never found answers for any of it. The case was left unsolved. It was a cover-up. There aren't many companies who can make it so an incident never happened. Look. The Omori Pharmaceutical Company? The one who ordered the cover-up. It wasn't just a random Omori employee, but the top shareholder and head of the Kujo family. The secret's still being kept by this guy right here. Soma Kujo, current family head. <sighs> that man's got a bad reputation. Don't go near him on your own. The anonymous case. Wait. Have you heard of the Anonymous case? I overheard the detectives. It's weird. They kept saying Anonymous. Why? Wait. Is all of this connected? Sara's accident and the incident at the amusement park in the forest, and the incident involving Maki, they had the same root cause. They're all drug-related. One more thing. What's this? The component analysis of PLUS? That drug that was just confiscated? Yeah. And here's the component analysis of the drug Omori Pharmaceutical created all those years ago. <sighs> They're the same. Does that mean...? This was the prototype of that drug, and now it's resurfaced again after ten-odd years as PLUS. Somehow, the drug that killed all those years ago is back. Who would have access to data that should have been buried in the cover-up? The same people who were behind the drug's initial creation, and who also happened to have the means to distribute it. Soma... Kucho... The rumors of him presiding over drug deals may be unconfirmed, but they're still worth looking into. Even though it wasn't intentional, if something they unleashed into the world turned deadly, they should still have to take responsibility somehow. So should I. Both of us. Wait a minute, what do you mean? <sighs> what I saw that day. Seeing those children hurt and their parents screaming in fear as they cried for help. All the adults were in such a panic, none of them even saw me standing there. Even though I was just a kid, I thought this was all our fault. I didn't want to face it, but I knew in my gut that my father had a direct hand in making those things happen. Sadly, though, I knew there was nothing I could do about it back then. But it never sat right with me. I felt angry and powerless. I've never forgotten it. Eventually, I began looking into this case in earnest. That got me interested in other cases involving illegal drugs, and so... Before I knew it, I found myself in my current job. I could have ignored it, of course. It's very clear. Some people would rather keep this buried and forgotten, and I'm aware people will get hurt. But I don't care. I'm moving forward. 
My conscience demands that I settle this. And until I can do that, I won't be joining Stand. I guess that's your justice, Mr. Aoyama. <laughs> you told me before, remember? The other side of justice is another side of justice? You're going to see that it's served, even if you end up seeming like the bad guy to someone else. I wish I could make a difference like that. Every time I try to do anything, I feel like I'm being told that my help isn't needed. And it hurts! No, that's not right. It's just so frustrating. I want that. To see my justice through. The same way you do! You want to help? Now that your scouting duties are on hold, you have some time, don't you? But you... you've already gotten so far doing all of this research on your own. Like I said before, you have a strong sense of justice. I admire that. Yeah, there's so much information off the clock. <laughs> Seriously. But now we might really be able to uncover where Plus came from as well as its main distribution route. And in the process, we'll probably find out more about the anonymous case, too. You know what that means. We could discover the reason they created Stand. I mean, the real one. Not to be a party pooper, but finding too much could lead to our destruction, you know? Well, I'm pretty sure it's too late to turn back now, so... Not to mention, of course, that our damsel here has said that she wants to continue moving forward. <laughs> um, please don't call me that. Izumi, we're on your side. That's really the point. If this is the path you've chosen, then we're gonna walk down it with you. Thank you. <laughs> really. Thank you all so much. Uh, excuse me. I mean, I decided to help Ray because I liked her, and no other reason than that. This doesn't change anything. Right, Kagura? Who, me? You know I'll do my job as long as I get paid, I don't care. Why can't you ever just be honest? Shut up, you. Play the game. It's your turn. <laughs> These good people, they're all around me, and they say that they're on my side. They even claim that nothing will change that. It's as if it's been raining for a really long time, and I've just been keeping my head down, fighting the cold. But when I looked up, I was treated to a different view. There was light piercing through the clouds. And one day, the sky will be blue again. I choose to believe that, and to keep looking up. So the guy we were wary of apparently has his eyes on you after all. And on top of that, it looks like he's recruited that scout that I mentioned to you before. Listen, now that Stand is also looking into the anonymous case, you should probably be more careful. I know. I really should. Especially if I want to see this through. <laughs> Going to see Mr. Cujo? Why, is he not feeling well again? He's been pretty busy lately. We just need to make sure he's at least been taking some supplements. I'll do my job no matter what. <clears throat> of course. If anyone ever threatens that man, I'm good and ready to protect Mr. Cujo with my life. But you're the doctor here, and that means illnesses are your department. <laughs> you sound like you're having fun. Hmm? <sighs> oh, that sucks. I totally thought that was food. The geraniums I was growing out back have bloomed magnificently. Mr. Shindo, Mr. Kujo is actually free right now. He's already off the phone. Touching base with Mr. Hiyama as usual, right? Wonder what they talk about during their chats. You're telling me you actually care about that? <laughs> as long as we're in this house, Mr. Kujo must always be the most important person in our lives. Always. No matter what secrets he may be hiding.
This is... Did you just get this today? Yesterday. They said not to get involved any further. Does that mean... Yeah. Considering the timing, I assume they mean the case we've been talking about. As for who it could be from, Omori Pharmaceuticals handled the original cover-up. It could even be from Soma Kujo himself. But why send it to you? The fact that I haven't received any threats at all seems pretty strange. Could you do me a favor and please keep this to yourself? I'm sure the others would only worry if they knew about it. And I won't quit. I want to be on this case. All right. But look, you shouldn't take this lightly. We don't know what else they might be willing to do. So from now on, I want you to notify me before you make a move. Understand? Yes, sir. And I'll have Revel take a look into who might have sent me this. Seriously? You're kidding, right? What's wrong? We have an emergency. There's trouble, so it's all hands on deck. I mean, what do we call this... trouble? I feel a little misled. If this doesn't qualify as an emergency, then what does? <sighs> I can't believe we actually got roped into working a public event like this. Not much we can do, though. I mean, after all, this is the first joint event between the Ministry of Health, Labor and Welfare, the MPD, and the Fire Department. You never can tell what's gonna happen when people come together. Hey, look. There are a couple more victims over there. <sighs> Mr. Seki is out on another job today, right? What about Yui? He sent us a message saying he was tied up sorting through files so he couldn't make it. That might be the lamest excuse I've ever heard. So basically he squirmed his way out of this. Well, you know how Yui is. He's never been a big fan of field work. <laughs> Check that out. Looks like he's here, Izumi. <gasps> Would you excuse me? Be right back. Where's she going? Am I missing something? I assume she went to say hi to the star of the parade. Kyosuke! Uh, Miss Ray, it's been a while. It really has. So you're the honorary police chief for the day, huh? That's pretty cool. <laughs> Thanks for that. When they first gave me the offer, I really wondered if I was even cut out for it. Hey, of course you are. I'm so glad the misunderstanding's been cleared up. You're even busier now than you were before this whole mess, aren't you? A surprisingly positive ending, right? And it's all thanks to the people who supported me. When things get difficult, it's nice to know that you have people in your life who are looking out for you. I'm guessing Kay and Revel had something to do with this, too. I need to make sure to thank them. Thank you too, Miss Ray. I didn't do anything, though. You gave me courage. I know that I can't see my brother yet, but I'll keep going for the people who support me. That I know. Wow, it's you. What's with the uniform? Oh, this? Helping out with the children's traffic safety class. <laughs> Here you go. Could you put these in piles of 20, please? They want stacks of them in each booth. Okay. Look, just let the past go. <sighs> I mean, it's not as if it was anything personal, you know? Oh, 
I need piles of 30 from the box over there. <laughs> Anyone there? I was directed to come over to this area so I could help out. Help me. Help me, please. Wait, hold on. That voice! Not so me. Uh, switch with me. I can't do this. Wearing this ridiculous outfit, dealing with all those kids. <laughs> Aw, what's the matter? Not enjoying mascot duty? Oh, emoji. Uh, you need to carry that? I can help you. Thank you, but it's all right. I can get this myself. It would actually be more helpful if you could stay here and look after Natsume for a bit. Emoji is a lot stronger than he looks, isn't he? He's definitely a man of the sea. Yeah, apparently Shun goes sailing kind of a lot. The guy even has his own yacht, if you can believe that. <sighs> Shun Emoji, public servant with a yacht. Wow, that's a terrible tagline. <laughs> What's that? It's so weird. Is it a bird or a pig? <laughs> hey, lady, I'm really thirsty. No! Uh, uh, no kicking, okay? <clears throat> I'm sorry, but there's nothing to drink here. What? No! <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong? Nothing. Everything's fine. Uh, Mr. Oyama! Oh. <laughs> Please come save us already! <sighs> hey kids, what are you doing over there? Well, I'm so exhausted. Uh -huh. <laughs> I'm sorry. Here you go. Wait, I know you. Hmm? What's up? Hmm? So you're with the Bureau of Health and Welfare. Pardon my manners. My name is Miyase. I should thank you for before, I mean. So, um... Did Mr. Kujo not come to the fair with you guys today? <laughs> well, we're actually only here to run some errands, so no, he's not with us. I guess that makes sense. Miyase. Oh, I'm sorry. Please go on ahead. I'm really looking forward to your win. Yeah, dude, leave it to me. I'm gonna bring home that ham as a gift for Mr. Kujo. <laughs> I mean, I'm definitely gonna win, so you can just sit back and panic, big guy. Doesn't he mean sit back and relax? It's hard to say, but probably. <laughs> Is there a reason you're not going with him? Yeah, I actually need to go to that market over there. The market? <gasps> what a coincidence, I'm going too. If you don't mind, maybe we could go together? Of course. That sounds great. Are you looking for something specific? No, not exactly. I just heard they had a lot of unusual finds here, so I wanted to take a look. So, um, how do you know Mr. Kujo? What's your relationship? Huh? No, it's just... Back when I met all of you at that party, I just naturally assumed the other gentleman was Mr. Kujo's bodyguard. But I don't know, you seemed a bit different to me somehow. I see. I'm an employee of the Kujos. An employee? I basically take care of their personal needs. I prepare meals for everyone who lives at the mansion, as well as the cleaning and laundry. Hey, have you ever gotten to help Mr. Kujo out with any of his work? Hmm? Sorry, um, I'd ask more intelligent questions, but I don't actually know what he does. <laughs> I haven't. I'm not involved in anything too complicated. That's not really my job. Right, of course. 
Sorry, I've always been too nosy for my own good. It's fine. Those are so cute. Yeah, they're called geraniums. Are you a big fan of flowers? I am, definitely. I even tend the grounds at the mansion. We have some of these out back. Unfortunately, we don't have any yellow ones, but when they all bloom at once, it's beautiful. Yeah? I'd love to show you if we ever get the chance. Uh, oh, and these little guys here are Cosmos. Uh, hmm? What, is something the matter? No, not really. It's just your hair. Huh? Oh. <laughs> Feels like I missed a spot of my bedhead. Gosh, that's embarrassing. <laughs> Oh, please. It happens to me all the time. In fact, my colleagues tease me about it pretty regularly. <laughs> what a thing to have in common. <laughs> <laughs> Biyase! <laughs> I guess we walked around longer than we thought. But I'm very glad we did, because I had a really fun time. I had fun too. Thanks for letting me tag along. I wasn't expecting such a gentle soul. I shouldn't let my guard down like that. <laughs> it's getting cold out here. What's going on? Nothing. Come on, time to go. You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. <sighs> We've gotten no new information yet. Imaoji was looking into Omori Pharmaceuticals, wasn't he? Yes, he is. But as you might guess, they have quite a few executives, so it's taking him a long time. I can imagine. We might be able to stumble across a clue if we can talk to one of the employees at his mansion. But I guess we're not likely to run into them. I know, it was such a crazy stroke of luck that I ran into Miyase and Kirishima like that. Huh? Oh, I'm sorry, did I forget to tell you about that? Yeah, I ran into them at the public fair. Seriously? <gasps> I'm so sorry. <sighs> well then, how did it go? We just... I mean, we only talked for a little while, so I didn't get anything useful. First impression, neither of them felt like bad people. Miyase did seem a little different, though. I see. But remember, if they're close to Somokujo, then there's a chance they might also be involved in the incident. Keep your guard up. Yes, sir. Huh? Hey, I didn't think you would actually show up. I would've... most definitely not amateurs. Now as far as possible distribution routes go, there are a few sites that are likely candidates. The first one is... Uh, morning all. Good, Good morning, morning, sir. sir. <coughs> you okay? Uh, seem to have got a little cold. Because you were walking around in short sleeves. Or did you maybe catch it some other way, Izumi? <laughs> Come on, Natsume. Seen a doctor? Uh, yeah, I have, but... Looks like they prescribed you a fever reducer and some codeine. Huh. 
These don't stand a chance against your condition, though, do they? Izumi, make sure you don't push yourself. Feel free to lay down any time. Thank you. Then, once you've rested, we'll draw some blood. Don't worry, we're just going to get a little blood cell count. So easy peasy. Admit it, that's all you're really after, Yui. Listen, I'm perfectly fine, okay? I'm sorry for worrying all of you. Please keep working. Hmm. Izumi. Uh, yes, sir? Could you deliver these documents to Watabe? You can go home after that. Huh? Okay with you? Sure. Sounds good to me. But I couldn't. It's not so bad that I need the day off. Well, you may feel okay right now, but we wouldn't want you to get any worse. Don't push it. Go rest and try to get better. Hey, you heard them. Uh, yes, I did. Thank you so much. <sighs> Maybe it's good that they sent me home. Doors open. Pardon me, it sees me. Ah, excellent timing, Ray. I've been waiting for you. And I guess you know these documents are from Mr. Seki. Yeah, thanks for delivering them. Got a cold? Uh, yes, nothing major. You sure? Do you have a fever? <laughs> I'm totally fine. Really, it's no big deal. Positive? Yes. Then I think you should at least take a little break. Must be hard being on the move. Coffee's probably a bad idea. How about if I make you some hot tea? Thanks, I'll stay a bit. Know what I heard? That the event was a monumental success. Man, I love a festival. Prizes, takoyaki, candied apples. <sighs> Ours was a bit different. Correct me if I'm wrong. But you seem kind of busy. Nah, it's always like this. Oh, wow, is it really? Uh, Mr. Watabe? I hope you don't mind, Ray. <sighs> yep, you see, I was right. You have a fever. You ought to take care. Sorry to keep you for so long. I'd be happy to take you home. I'll go ahead and message Seki to let him know what's up. Um, he actually already gave me permission to go home early. Oh, did he really? In that case, I'll finish up my work here. Feel free to lie down on the sofa while you wait. That's a good blanket, too. I appreciate it, but I'm fine right here. Should I lay down next to you? No way! <laughs> <laughs> See? That's what you get for yelling. Let me take you home. I'm actually grateful because you're giving me an excuse to slack off. <laughs> we appreciate how hard you work, but we all worry about you. Don't push yourself too hard, okay? Yes, sir. <laughs> Great, that's settled. <laughs> Mr. Seki? Everyone's pasts, their intentions, they were all separate before, but now they're intersecting, creating a singular flow. <laughs> don't get swallowed up, and don't stop. Reach out with both hands, and find the truth. Because you've made the decision to discover it for yourself, no matter what happens. I appreciate you coming so far to see me today. I'm Soma Kujo. It's a pleasure. Uh, 
I, um... I want to apologize for the trouble I caused you at that party on the ship. No. I should apologize for inconveniencing you as well. Now... Lovely to see you again, but I have a feeling you didn't come here just to reminisce. Let's get to it, shall we? Thank you, sir. We'd like to discuss you possibly joining an agency called STAND. A joint effort of the Ministry of Health, Labor, and Welfare's DCD, and the MPD's Investigation Section 1. First, let me tell you more about STAND's goals. So essentially, STAND's primary function and objective is to look at unsolved drug-related cases. We want to solve those cases in an unprecedented way. Rather than being held back by more conventional restrictions, we're looking for talented people from various fields. Quite simply, since you're the head of a notable pharmaceutical company, we feel you'd have a lot to offer us. Your knowledge and connections would be invaluable. We'd be very grateful if you'd seriously consider joining us. I see. That's a rather interesting story. I understand what you're asking. But, as you've already mentioned yourself, I have a very important position. Not only must I protect Omori Pharmaceutical, but I must also do everything in my power to protect the Kujo family. So, please, I'm going to need you to give me one solid, compelling reason why I should help you out. Go ahead. Okay. I mean, just like I mentioned before, with your knowledge and you expertise... You know, that's not what I'm asking. Let me be direct. There are plenty of people who have high positions in pharmaceutical companies. I wouldn't even mind introducing you to some. But I need you to tell me why you've asked me. I'd like to know why I personally should help you with this goal of yours. Well... The heads of the Kujo family have been executives for Omari Pharmaceuticals for generations. Also, I've heard that you're now ambitiously attempting to manufacture new products. There are people in the DCD who have been studying drugs for years, but we don't have an expert on creating them. To my knowledge, we couldn't hope to do any better than you. Omari Pharmaceuticals is our top candidate, as far as the knowledge and techniques Stand is searching for right now. I understand. However, it sounds like you're asking the wrong person for help. <sighs> I'm an executive of the company, not an expert in the field. From what you've said, I would think you'd be far better off scouting one of my researchers. But what Stan needs is much more than the knowledge of just one individual. Omari Pharmaceuticals could provide- Another reason I can't? The company isn't actually my property. <laughs> would you like me to introduce you to someone more suitable? I'd be happy to do that for you. If I may interject, though she represents their interests, Izumi is not an official member of Stan. Her sole purpose is to recruit candidates. It's not her job to choose who to scout. Of course, if you prefer, we could ask our supervisor why you were selected for this. But if that's the case, we'll have to request more of your time later once we've received an answer. We don't have a problem with that. But I know you're a busy person. Do you think that will work for you? Hey! Watch yourself! Very well. Let me cut to the chase. I have zero interest in this deal. You're clearly intelligent, so I'm sure you can figure out why. If that's why you're declining, don't you think this will actually put you in an even worse position? That's not really for you to decide, though, is it? <laughs> if it's her job to scout people, then what does that make you? He's a candidate, just the same as you. That means he's a potential stand member. He's not an outsider. You're wrong. If he's not an official member yet, He's as much of an outsider as I am. However, if he were here representing his family's company, that'd be different, as they've helped us out a lot over the years. I'd have a little more time to catch up in that case. But as it is, I have quite a few engagements to get to. No, please wait! I happen to agree with Aoyama. If we end things like this, it will put the company in a worse position, and that won't do you any favors at all, okay? I'll come by again. Please see yourself out. Let's go. Thanks for your work today. So, how did it go? From all appearances, it seems at least Mr. Shindo has had quite enough. If they're going to stand in the way of my goals, then sadly I can't ignore them. 
So that's where we find ourselves. I see you haven't changed. Ever since that day. Honestly. I'm getting pretty sick of all these additional annoyances coming up. If the stress gets to him, his condition gets worse and that means more work for me. You're probably fine. I highly doubt that Scout stood a chance. I'm sure he won't be interested. She might have had a tiny chance. I kinda like gutsy girls like her, but the guy... I didn't like that dude one single bit. The way he was looking at Mr. Cujo, it pissed me off. Is that what your animal instincts say? Koya's instincts are good. Surprisingly reliable. Just forget about them. That's right! If they show up again, I'm just gonna pound them and send them running back out of here! So you're saying it took you two and a half hours to get there and then you only stayed for 15 minutes? That must have been rough. Well, look at it this way. At least you got to take in some scenery and tour a beautiful mansion, right? Natsume. He is the current head of the infamous Kujo family. I guess it's not surprising that he's got his guard up. What about the other residents in that household? Is there any chance of getting through that way? Those four, is that them? Yeah, we only got to meet these three, but they also seemed rather guarded. Maybe they aren't the way in then, huh? Ray, didn't you say you struck up a friendship with one of the employees there? Mm-hmm, but... It was almost as if we were meeting for the first time today. He seemed completely different. What should we do? This one's an order from above. We'll just have to keep trying until we get through. Well, her title as the stand recruiter should keep you in the door and help you out at least a little bit, right? That's true. And this will put us directly in contact with the material witness in our current case, which is more than we had before. Yes, exactly. Go ahead and set up our next appointment with them. Right. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Love seeing that enthusiasm. And because you youngsters are so motivated, I brought you a gift. Today's snack is Millefouet Specialité from Millefouet Maison Francais. Oh, thank you so much. I'll go make tea. Let me help you with that. Uh, I'll take one too, thanks. Don't you need to get back to work? <laughs> We're still waiting for our next appointment with Mr. Cujo. So, in the meantime, I gathered all the information I could on the Cujo family. I was hoping you guys might be willing to help me out. So you're trying to get in to scout Mr. Cujo? Yes. <laughs> Let's see. Hey now. Hattery. Hmm. This is pretty good. According to this data, everyone has very different occupations and backgrounds. It's weird. I can't seem to figure out why they're so willing to band together for Mr. Cujo. I'll take any information you can find. Is there anything you can tell me? Izumi, we really- Yeah. I'm sorry, but we don't know much about the Cujo family. I think that Hiyama might be the only one of us who does. When the Hiyama group was in some trouble in the past, believe it or not, Mr. Kujo was the one who helped them out. Hattori! She doesn't need to know that. It's not like people don't already know. Mr. Hiyama and Mr. Kujo have that kind of a connection? Wait a minute. Is that why Revel can't give me information on the Kujos? Is that the reason? I'll let you figure that out yourself. Apologies. I'm going to get a drink. Hey. Could you try not to look so disappointed? It makes me feel like we did something wrong, and I hate that feeling. It's exactly like Hattori said. Sorry. I really don't think there's much we can do for you this time. Even if you wait, the answer won't change. But then, what should I do? <laughs> what the? Don't look at me. Excuse me. <laughs> so far from the bus stop. I'm tired already. <laughs> Mr. Kurt. 
Urishima? So you're back, huh? I'm not letting you get away this time. <laughs> I get it. You take no sleepers, huh? Sleepers? You got guts! I respect that! <laughs> oh, no, you don't! Bastard! <laughs> that makes 120 wins, two losses, and one draw. Go. You're a worthy proponent. What in the world? How long are you gonna sit there? <gasps> Your butt. It's gonna get dirty. Oh, right. <laughs> Thanks, I appreciate that. I guess I should also thank you for saving me. I won't let you see Mr. Cujo. I bet you don't even have an appointmentary thingy, do you? Oh, no. You see, I actually came here to see Mr. Miyase today, not Mr. Cujo. Miyase? Yes, I have something I wanted to give him, so... Uh... Make sure you just talk to Miyase. Where's Miyase? I think he's with Kiyoshi in Mr. Kujo's room. Really? I mean, Mr. Kujo is here today? You won't be seeing him. That's fine. It's just that I didn't think he'd be home is all. Well, he's... He's working from home today. Oh, I understand. Hey! I told you not to talk to anybody but Miyase. Oh, right. I'm sorry. I'd say it's anemia. He should be all right if he takes it easy for the rest of the day. But he needs a full examination. Make time in his schedule. Yes, understood. Hey, you've got a visitor. Me? Who wants to see me? Here you go. I'm really sorry that I got it so dirty, but what's inside is still fine. This is... I want to thank you for everything you did for me at the party that night. It was bothering me that I kept it for so long, so here it is. Well, thank you. It's kind that you thought of returning it to me. I, um... I don't like the look of those clouds. Let's get you a car. It's okay. I'll take her back. <sighs> Sorry about this. It's really all my fault for not being able to take down that deer bastard earlier. Not at all. Thank you for letting me see Mr. Miyase. Mr. Kurishima? You should stop poking your nose into Mr. Kujo's uh -huh. business. I admit, it doesn't really seem like you think Mr. Kujo's a bad guy like all the others have before you. But you still have some doubts about him, don't you? <laughs> Am I wrong? <laughs> what are you two doing here? This is no place for idle chatter, you know. I know. <laughs> Let's go. Is he... Is Mr. Kujo not well? Uh. Mm. Um, would you please tell him that I hope he feels better soon? I'm sure he's incredibly busy. It must be hard for him right now. <sighs> well, it doesn't look like it's going to let up anytime soon. There's no way you'll be able to drive in this. Oh yeah, whenever it rains around here, it's irreplaceable. You mean inaccessible. You should just stay the night. <sighs> this place has plenty of guest rooms that barely ever get used. Wait, I couldn't possibly. Don't wanna? Would you rather sleep in my room? No way! Uh, Koya, I'm not so sure. How come? Seriously, it's not like Mr. Cujo's so heartless that he just throw her out in this rain. What am I... Uh... I'll 
I'll go and let Mr. Cujo know. I'm afraid we've been using it as storage. I apologize for the mess. If you need anything else, please let me know. This is perfect, but I'm sorry for inconveniencing you. It's fine. Now if you'll excuse me. <sighs> that definitely could have gone better. where it was before now. Understood. Of course. <sighs> Thank you, yes. We are also looking into the matter. But considering my position, my hands are pretty much tied. Right. Yes, I know. I'm not about to get picky now. I'll go ahead and take care of the sales records concerning that drug as soon as possible. <laughs> hmm? Now, you can go on. So, Mr. Cujo is... Miss Izumi? Uh... Huh? Sorry to keep you waiting. Thank goodness. Uh -huh. So then, I guess you really are the person I met the other day. <laughs> <laughs> My apologies. I can't believe this awful weather. So, I guess the storm woke you up too? Tell me, can I help you? Mr. Cujo, what kind of person is he exactly? To everyone here, I mean. Well, it's complicated, but I guess you could say that when it comes down to it, everyone here owes him a great debt of gratitude, and we've all made the decision to be here of our own free will. Therefore, I'm committed to seeing my job through. No matter what happens. That sounds intense. Do you mean... You think something actually will happen? Does Mr. Cujo, does this household have some kind of secret it keeps from the world? Forgive me for asking, and please believe me when I say I don't want to suspect someone you and Mr. Kurishima look up to so highly, but... I can't look away from the truth, no matter what it is. Very well. Why don't you follow me? So are you... hacking? Yeah, something like that. I'm only doing it because Go here asked me to. But if we get caught, this is definitely gonna cause trouble, isn't it? I'm terribly sorry for dragging you into all of this. It's just, I really want to prove Mr. Cujo's innocence. And do you think she'll be able to make that happen? <laughs> well, what do you think about that? Can you do it? If I'm honest... I don't know yet. I still have no clue what's wrong, or what's right for that matter. The thing is, I don't actually know who holds the truth I'm looking for. Right now, I just need to see with my own eyes. I've got to determine what's really true, and that's why. I need more information. Thank you for taking the time to see me. What a nice little shop this is. 
My pleasure, but I should really be thanking you. And yes, a friend recommended this place. I'm afraid I have a number of questions. I'm sure, of course. And I have a lot of things that I'd like to explain. Feel free to correct me if I'm wrong. But you and Kaname had no clue about that data, right? True. Although, it seems as if you did. You said that it was a new drug being developed by Omori Pharmaceuticals. <laughs> so this square, what is it? Please tell me. Well, it's a drug that's closely tied to the DCD's current investigation. That's part of why it's a big deal. That investigation, right now it's... Plus zero? Its official name is Square. In the sample photo we received, there were two tablets in one set. Well, the good news is, we can pretty much confirm just from the reports Izumi's gathered, that Square is what Plus was directly modeled after. Which means, we can be fairly confident it's the new drug Omori Pharmaceuticals was in the process of developing. So, apparently Aoyama was correct. Congratulations. Wait, if we already know that the data needed to create Plus came from the Kujo family, then doesn't that mean we've actually caught Mr. Kujo red-handed? That'd be jumping to conclusions. We need some real proof first. We have to keep this quiet until then. That includes from Miyase. I apologize. I can't say more. Do you and your team really think that the Kujo family is connected with this? We do believe that it's a possibility. Does this also have to do with Stand? Can you tell me about that? I'm not... I'm personally not sure. I understand. To be honest, I have some regrets. <laughs> If you and your team are correct, then I think I might need to distance myself from that house. But preparing all his meals, keeping things clean, and working hard to make it so he can sleep well, I don't think I can change that, change my routine. I'm a little uncertain, not quite sure what I should do here. Would you be willing to help me out? That way, if there are any suspicions, we can look into it and gather the proof we need. That's the whole job of the DCD in a nutshell. We just have to keep searching for the truth until we find it. I believe that your thoughts and opinions are a vital part of the evidence we need. You're one of the closest people to him. So if you truly believe that Mr. Kujo is innocent, we have to consider that, along with all of the other factors. Bottom line is, we're going to need your help, Mr. Miyase. You want to officially ask him to cooperate? That's right. It would be nice to get more internal information on the Kujo family, even if it came with some risks. But this could end up hurting you in the end. Do you feel confident about Miyase? Yes, I do. I believe it'll be okay. In that case, I'll leave this to you. <laughs> Why do you seem so surprised? You came to this decision on your own. Just continue to be bold, as you have been. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> mm. Is Mr. Cujo still at the office? Yes. Well, that was a disturbingly lifeless response. Oh, was it? Mr. Cujo's condition refuses to stabilize as is. You can't collapse on me, too. I don't know the details, but I know who he counts on most around here, and that is you. <sighs> Good to see you. Come on, follow me. I was trying to figure out the best place for the two of us to relax and talk. I hope this is okay with you. Of course. Oh, geraniums. How pretty. Just like I promised. I'm glad I got to show them to you. Were you in the middle of doing this? 
Yeah, I replant them every season. That sounds like a big job. Do you get to decide what you want to plant? Yes. How to care for a flower depends on what kind it is. But it's a pretty great thing to see them sprout, just as you hoped they would. Wow, that does sound gratifying. Well, would you like to give it a try? Sure. Okay, am I doing this right? Yes, so all you want to do now is add a little bit more soil. And you're done. All right. Oh. <laughs> Pardon me a moment. <sighs> you just had a little dirt on your cheek. Oh, thank you then. Can't have that. <laughs> You have such tiny hands. And yet, you're trying to use them to grasp at such a shapeless truth. You're a very strong person. I know you're going to continue moving forward, honest and true. Mr. Miyose. See, I've been in Mr. Kujo's care, well, ever since I was a very young child. That's why, in my mind, I'll always see him as my older brother. See, I believe in Mr. Kujo. And my mind won't change on that. Miss Izumi, knowing all of that, would you still be willing to take my hand? <laughs> all of that is exactly why I asked for your help, Mr. Miyase. Very well, then. I'll help you however I can. Well, Mr. Miyase gave us a very promising reply. Good job. That's a really great catch. Here's the question. Can we actually trust this man? I mean, he's not after your body or anything, right? <laughs> Come on, Yui. But the thing is... Even if he's willing to help us, I'm sure he won't be able to tell us everything, considering his position. Our best bet's probably to simplify what we want to ask him down to a few key points. Yeah, I agree with you. But there are so many unknowns, it's hard to know exactly where to start. We'd be having an easier time if Stan would just be a bit more cooperative. Oh yeah, about that. I actually have a plan. Mm -hmm. Wow, you've got quite a pile there. Don't tell me all of that is for one case. Sure is. Where'd Mr. Hattori go? I haven't heard from him since he left that with you. Sorry I'm not more help. <sighs> <laughs> well, good luck with that. Oh, hey, Natsuki, how did the questioning go? Yeah, nothing's really changed. He just keeps repeating that he has nothing to say. That figures. If Makoto Suzuki would actually cooperate, we could move forward with the anonymous case. There hasn't been anything new on it for a while now. The DCD's been quiet lately. No word from Ray either. I guess she's keeping her head down for now. I'm sure she would be, considering what happened. Hey, everyone. There's a... something I wanted to discuss with all of you. Really? Come on, not this again. What is it you wanted to talk about? Well, it's just that I've been scouting Mr. Cujo for a few weeks now, and it's not going so great. I was thinking, if you receive any new information that isn't in the files, would you please tell me? <sighs> no, of course we can't. You are not an official part of Stand, therefore we have nothing to tell you. I see. So should I take that to mean that Mr. Cujo is involved with the case Stand is currently investigating? <laughs> I may not be a member of Stand, but I am the recruiter, and I...
Aoyama. Hmm? Oh, hey. How's it going, Arakita? Listen, Izumi came to see us today. Right. She went looking for info on Kujo. I'm sorry if she's been a hassle. So wait, are you saying this wasn't a part of your plan? Oh, no. Our hands are tied, though. So I can't say I'm all that surprised that Izumi's out there doing whatever she can. But isn't she always just doing what she can to get by? I mean, she was only chosen to be in the DCD because of her condition, wasn't she? At first, yes. But she's clearly been doing everything she can not to rely on her condition. That was your advice, wasn't it? I don't know, but that wasn't really my intention. Well, Izumi still took it that way. That's just how she is. I was pretty certain you would have figured that out by now. Hello, this is Izumi. Listen, are you working right now? Yeah, but I have some time. Oh, okay. So, uh... uh... Remember how I called you naive? I still don't believe I was wrong. <laughs> okay. But there were things I didn't see. And the reason I couldn't admit that was because of my own personal bias. I do know you're more than some damsel who just needs protecting. Sorry for before. No, oh, no, please don't apologize. You were exactly right, Mr. Arakita. I realize now I'm not skilled enough yet to be able to stand alongside all of you out in the field. The only reason I was even here to begin with was because of my drug immunity. I knew it, and it made me feel inferior. Even then, I didn't really care at first. At least I could be of use to everyone, right? Except, I couldn't protect people like that. So then, I figured out that I have to think on my own as an agent of the DCD. Your words are what drove that home for me, Mr. Arakita. I want to do everything I can to become stronger so I can protect the weak, and always keep my focus on them. That's why I've decided that I won't be looking down anymore. I guess that's just how you are. <sighs> The unknown corpse found in connection to the anonymous case. If we can identify it somehow, that may help us secure Soma Kujo's cooperation. Wait, are you...? You are a scout, so I can tell you that much. I thought you could use the help. Mr. Arakita. I'm afraid that's all I can do. I'm a member of Stand, and you aren't. That hasn't changed. Even so, we both want to make sure this case gets solved. I'll do everything my position allows to see that happen. Good. I see. So that's where we are with the anonymous case. Very well, I can take it from here. One other thing. <clears throat> Izumi asked if we could look into the identity of the victim for her. Sounds like Ray's putting the pieces together. Pretty impressive she got that far on her own. So, Maki, what are you saying? We should tell her what she wants to know? Kay isn't the only one. I feel the same. It may be information that's tied to the Kujo family, but on its own, it isn't going to determine the culprit. I don't think telling her presents a problem. Hmm. <clears throat> well, what's your assessment based on this? Do you believe Soma Kujo is guilty? At this point in time, we really can't say. Although, if we did keep this hidden, I don't think that would be fair to him or Izumi. All right, then. If you want to help her out, you can go ahead. But remember, I'm only saying that because I trust the three of you. And just in case you didn't know, Hiyama, we trust you too. Is that so? Homery Pharmaceutical.
That's it. This ties Mr. Kujo to the anonymous case. You know how you called me the other day about that Hebia person? Of course. You told me that you'd never heard of him before, right? Yes, and that was true. But after we spoke, I learned something. What did you find? It's nothing official, but here, take a look at this. I take it that Kaname did some digging? <laughs> Mr. Hebia was a talented researcher, but all of his work records have been wiped after a certain point and he's been missing ever since. Right around the time of the anonymous case. The anonymous case? Oh, never mind, it's nothing. There was another thing too, regarding that drug square. It seems he was a central figure in its development. <sighs> Thank you for seeing us. We appreciate it. We can skip the pleasantries. Did you have something to report? Yes, sir. As you know, Soma Kujo is one of the people we've been scouting. We've come across some information that makes it clear that we need to look into him further. Hmm. There is a possibility that he's tied to a drug that is currently under investigation. What's your point? Until we can be certain of his involvement, wouldn't it be better for us to hold off on recruiting him, sir? Do you have any proof of this involvement? Nothing concrete enough to be worth showing you yet. I can't make that decision without evidence. <laughs> but if we find proof he was involved, something solid, then surely that would affect his eligibility, where joining Stan is concerned. <laughs> I understand what you're trying to say. But for now, the MPD has jurisdiction over all Stan matters. I'm sorry, but I'm afraid that this is out of my hands. Very well. Then I'll talk to the MPD, with your permission, of course. Go on, do as you please. How did it go? They wouldn't see me. So no help there? None, but they've tipped their hand now. I don't know what, but the brass is plotting something. <gasps> the higher-ups know about the ugly rumors going around concerning the Cujo family. Drugs and possibly worse. The link we uncovered would have been enough for the Ministry of Health, Labor, and Welfare to put pressure on them. It was perfect ammunition. But not only didn't they bite, they tried to shut us down. And let's not forget the fact that all the candidates for stand seem to be tied to the anonymous case in one way or another. Yeah, that's been bothering me a little as well. Maki, who was taken hostage as the suspect tried to flee. Makoto, who was detained and is being questioned about the case. His younger brother, Kiyosuke. And then there's the Kujo family, who could possibly be the ones behind everything. And Aoyama, who has obvious ties with the Aoyama Trading Company, which funded the development of the new drug. Stan's purpose is... ...more and more mysterious. The closer we get, the more the truth changes its shape, until it's almost hard to know what we're looking for anymore. I can't shake that feeling, and it makes me hesitate to step further into the darkness that lies ahead. Zero? Its official name is Square. In the sample photo we received, there were two tablets in one set. Well, the good news is, we can pretty much confirm just from the reports Izumi's gathered, that Square is what Plus was directly modeled after. Which means, we can be fairly confident it's the new drug Omori Pharmaceuticals was in the process of developing. Wait, if we already know that the data needed to create Plus came from the Kujo family, then doesn't that mean we've actually caught Mr. Kujo red-handed? See, I believe in Mr. Kujo, and my mind won't change on that. Miss Izumi, knowing all of that, would you still be willing to take my hand? All of that is exactly why I asked for your help, Mr. Miyase.
Very well then. I'll help you however I can. I don't know what, but the brass is plotting something. And let's not forget the fact that all the candidates for stand seem to be tied to the anonymous case in one way or another. That's right. I've been trying to figure out why Stand was created. How Yama has too. But we haven't found anything so far. The more we look into the agency's history, the more it feels like they're trying to hide something. I gave you fair warning, didn't I? But you still poked your nose where it doesn't belong. So you were the one who sent that thread, Mr. Hottery? I really thought that would keep you from getting too involved. But I didn't figure you would join forces with someone involved with the Kuja family. And now you've even started investigating Stand itself. Honestly, you just won't listen to anyone, will you? You want to find out what Stand is trying to accomplish, is that correct? Yes. Well, in that case, you'll definitely need to learn some backstory on the suspect on the anonymous case. So, pop quiz for you, damsel of the DCD. <laughs> Tell me, when justice is taken too far, how do you know where it should end? Huh? Make the BPA a priority. Do we have an ID? Kumi Mochizuki, 22 years old. She's been staying at this hotel for the past three days. Masayoshi, look at... Over here. The victim had track marks on the inside of her elbow. They're probably from drug yeah. use. Here. Have forensics analyze this. I'm going to contact the chief. He all right? He seems upset. Well, it's a drug-related case now. Ah, that would do it. I've heard he's still pretty bothered by what happened to the victim in that car wreck incident. I got a call. Hello? I killed him. Uh, Masayoshi? Yuki, he's dead. Yuki is... Did you say that you killed him? Sorry. Where are you right now? We had the same goal. But this was... It had to be... A sacrifice for justice. Masayoshi! <laughs> this one is pretty gruesome. Who could do that to someone? The victim has now been identified as Yuki Hibia. The suspect is Masayoshi Ida, a member of the MPD. He's taken a hostage and is currently at large. This case must absolutely be kept quiet from the media. Make sure you conduct this investigation carefully. have no leads. We need to settle this and fast. I'm worried about the kid who got taken. Hey, this has to be a mistake. Ida wouldn't do something like this without good reason, right? Don't start. There have been reports that a man resembling Ida was spotted in a neighborhood in Kita Ward. We suspect he's hiding in an empty house in that area. We're moving in on him at once. You all have clearance to take your guns. Hiding out. Hey, are you all right? We've secured the hostage. He appears to be unharmed. Where's our target? Damn it, he's gone again? Good work, kid. Masayoshi.
How's the hostage? He's just been recovered. I see. I'm surprised you found me here. You may have made some mistakes, but you're not careless enough to leak your location. That place was a decoy. This was the only place it made sense for you to go, where the other investigators wouldn't think to look. Hmm. So you tried to find a building that could see your hospital room. Good instincts. No, you did this intentionally. It didn't matter where you were, as long as I was the one that knew how to find you. Oh? You had plenty of time to visit her again before you left. If there was any reason at all for you to stay in the city, it would be me. I have to say, I'm proud of you. I doubt you want to hear that from me, though. Listen while I smoke, that's all I ask. I'll start from the beginning. As I know you're aware, Yuki and I were working on a solution to rid the world of drug-related crimes. And to make that happen, we were developing our own drug, Square. A new tool for justice. One that would help cure junkies of their addictions. That was our dream. If it had been completed, it would have been the first step to limiting incidents involving substance abuse. I always said Yu was a genius for coming up with that idea, so obviously he had my support. Omori Pharmaceuticals was on board to get production started on the drug, and for a while it looked like everything was going off without a hitch. But problems arose during the clinical trials and production was quickly cancelled. Although it appears now that all of those records have been wiped. Yu secretly transferred the data and continued his research. But then suddenly said he was quitting. It was the day of that storm. Why quit then? He said that some bad people were after him, watching him. So then he wanted to destroy the data on the drug before it fell into the wrong hands. He ran away. His idea of justice ended when his own well-being was threatened. And that was worth killing over? Like I said before, this was a sacrifice for the greater good. You know, a former detective shouldn't say things like that. <laughs> I know the MPD is trying to keep this under wraps, but at the very least, I wanted you to know the entire story. Well, see ya. <coughs> Hold it! I'm sorry. That was the last time any of us saw Ida. Police have kept him, Hebia, and the Square Incident quiet to the public ever since. It's been 15 years. And that's the whole truth of it. Now that you've heard all this, I bet you can put the pieces together and find the answers you've been looking so diligently for. That means that... Stand was established to investigate unsolved cases, and that much, at least, is still true. However, the reason the anonymous case was prioritized is because the MPD's top brass needs it gone ASAP. They would have to make it so the case never happened, to hide that one of their own was responsible. That's their motive? Imagine the backlash over a detective being involved. Can't blame them for wanting to avoid a public scandal, I guess. It doesn't happen all that often, but this is actually pretty standard procedure. But knowing all that, how are you still willing to give Stand everything they need to close this case? Are you? You want to know if I'm helping them with their cover-up, yeah? <laughs> You're still so naive. Regardless of what the brass wants done, I have my own motives here. I'm gonna find Ida and make him pay for what he did. And to make that happen, I don't mind following orders from above. At least for now, anyway. And is that what justice means to you? Why? 
Hmm? Why would you explain all of this to an outsider like me? I wonder, why would that be? There's something you need my help with. Oh, we happened to pick up a signal from that specific flash drive. It came from the Cujo household. <sighs> we followed up on that lead. We found out that someone had seen Ida near the Cujo family household around the time of the anonymous case. The bad guys Hebia was so afraid of, they had to be the Cujo family. That's strange though. How would they have gotten their hands on the data? Doesn't matter. We know right now that Plus was created from the data that was on that flash drive. And it's thought to have been distributed through the Cujo's personal route. What you're trying to uncover is very closely connected to what Stan wants. I really don't think it would hurt for us to work together. I do think it's a tempting opportunity. But I'm not sure how I can help. Am I the right person for this? Oh, modest, aren't you? And that's even after you've managed to tame our little Sose. Huh? Not to mention, it looks like you've gained Rebel's trust too. Especially Maki's. Maki's trust? <gasps> I'm hoping you can win over Suzuki in the same way and finally get him talking. I'm not sure. Just remember from here on out, everything is extremely risky. I can't take responsibility for you and your life will be in danger. Are you still prepared to do this? As long as people are suffering from drugs, I'll do anything. I want to save as many as are within my reach. I don't know if that's what real justice is or not. But if there's something I can do right now to help anyone, anywhere... I'll always be ready for it. Well, all right. You're definitely not like them, are you? Very good. He's going to have Rei go talk to Makoto Suzuki. Very well, then. Are you... you're not even a little surprised? That just means he's finally taking this seriously. What? Mr. Hattori was the one threatening you? Izumi, he didn't try anything weird with you, right? No, I'm perfectly fine. Just give me a second to explain, okay? I insist on examining you this instant. Uh... Behave yourself. Do you think Ray will be all right? It's starting to sound like she stuck her nose into something pretty heavy. I can't say that I'm not worried about her, but I heard from Hattori and he apparently has her back in all of this as well. <sighs> can't believe the MPD had something like this happening behind the scenes. We're starting to see it now. The truth about Stan. Stan. Square. The anonymous case. All the separate little fragments are starting to form a clearer picture. One coherent shape. And the last few pieces of the puzzle are only just out of reach. We're so close now. But I'm afraid that once all of those pieces finally do fall into place, a difficult truth is going to be revealed, and when it does, someone is going to get hurt. I'm sorry for asking you to meet me so early. It's all right. I'm the one who said I wanted to see you. I feel bad. You came so far before work. No! Uh, I'm the one who asked for your help with all of this in the first place. Thank you so much. Uh, <laughs> what's the word on the questioning? Uh, right now, the MPD's top brass is still negotiating that. But we think this could be the chance we've been waiting for to learn more about Mr. Kujo.
I guess... This was a remote place to meet, but I suggested it for a reason. It used to be a little amusement park. Did you know that? Yeah, I'm familiar with it, but it closed after that big accident. Yes, I was actually here that day. <sighs> My mom brought me, so this place has always been nostalgic for me. Especially since she's gone now. That's also part of the reason Mr. Kujo is. <sighs> Please don't get the wrong idea. I haven't given up on him, but thank you for being honest with me. I appreciate that. Don't worry, and don't overwork yourself. Right. Let's run through everything we know so far. First of all, we have Square. We're fairly certain that this was the base drug for Plus. Then there's the Kujo family. Given their link to Omori Pharmaceuticals, it's possible they had something to do with its creation. Finally, we have a key figure behind the research for Square, Yuki Hibia. Hibia was murdered by an ex-detective named Masayoshi Ida, who can be connected to Makoto Suzuki, currently in stand custody. We want Izumi to meet with him to see if she can draw out enough information to solve the anonymous case, but Top Brass hasn't allowed them to speak just yet. It's a tough case for sure. I know they want to handle the anonymous case quickly and quietly since one of their own was involved, but Mr. Hattori is struggling to negotiate a talk that could actively help them. I guess all we can do is wait. Kotaro, have you turned up any new information on Plus? Unfortunately, no. I've gotten pretty much all the data I can out of the sample we have. Moving forward, we're going to need details from outside the lab. So you're up, Imaoji. Have any luck? You questioned the guy who had it, right? Oh yeah, the one Mr. Asagiri arrested. He did have a lot of it on him. He was kind of stubborn at first. But after a while, I got him to open up about how he came by it. Apparently, the drugs were given to him as a sample. He had also caught wind of a particular rumor among dealers about an incoming shipment of Plus to be sold on the black market in massive quantities. <laughs> Which means there's a huge deal in the works and someone is about to close on it. And if Soma Kujo is involved with that, we could get to kill two birds with one stone, right? We could expose him on the spot. That would be a pretty big win for us. That's true, but it's easier said than done. If Mr. Off on time would stake out the Cujo family 24-7, we'd have a chance, but... Yeah, that's not happening. Ah, oh, come on. I'll bring you some snacks. You sure are easy to read, you know? Don't forget, Miyase is close to the Cujo family. He may be cooperating, but we're seeking different answers. We don't know how he'll act when he gets one he doesn't like. So keep that in mind moving forward. He's only human. I know. But Mr. Miyase is rational. He understands Mr. Kujo likely better than anyone. When you talk to him in person, you can tell how deep the trust between them is. So you'll just blindly believe what he says about Soma Kujo? No, I... You need to hold off on meeting with Miyase for a little while, all right? He's going to influence you further, and that will skew your judgment. Understand that you're being biased too, Mr. Aoyama. It's just, you're already convinced that Mr. Kujo is the one we're after, but I'm not so sure. I have a hard time believing that the person the entire Kujo family looks up to can be that bad. That's why I- I got it. That's enough. I got it. Right, I'm sorry. You have nothing to apologize for. Well, what brings you two here? We just thought we might bring you a snack. <laughs> so, what can I do for you? Izumi told us what you said about why Stand was established, and the MPD's motive. We have some questions. Yeah? Most importantly, do you approve of the direction the agency is taking? 
What, the damsel didn't tell you herself? Of course I'm not helping because I have to. I got involved of my own accord. The police don't mind sweeping something under the rug. Color me surprised. All things considered, I'd prefer to keep Ray out of the filthy affairs of the MPD, regardless of how helpful she might be to your cover-up. <laughs> Do you really believe that the police are the only ones engaging in a cover-up? Considering the DCD's goals, Surely you understand our common interest. It's a big one. Of course I do. It's why the Ministry joined Stand in the first place. The Cujo family. Stand is rounding up anybody and everybody who is involved with the anonymous case. Now then, what do you suppose they're going to do with Soma Cujo after the case has finally been put to bed? I understand. If they keep him close, the Ministry of Health, Labor, and Welfare can easily keep an eye on the Cujo family. When the MPD is done with Cujo himself, they plan to pounce on the drug trafficking ring that's being run out of that household by him and the rest of the family. That explains it then. Why they wouldn't rule Cujo out as a stand candidate. There are monsters behind those heavy doors, Ministry and MPD alike. That said, we should all take a little extra care. Our bosses set up a shady agency for shady purposes, and now we both have subordinates involved. The adults really need to start pulling their weight here. But that's partially why I'm going to have the damsel of the DCD help out. <laughs> I'm really counting on her. Wait, are you serious? Yes. Thanks to Hattori, they set up a one-time meeting with you and Makoto Suzuki. <laughs> Mr. Hattori. Unfortunately, we have another problem. They can get you in the room, but he still won't speak to anyone. So, here's our next move to help get the ball rolling. Uh. Yes? Hi, Kyosuke. Miss Ray, it's so nice to see you again. I had a feeling that must have been you. Huh? Hmm. I mean the flowers. They're really pretty. Here you go. <laughs> Thanks so much. It's no problem. I should thank you. Mm -hmm. The police called me a little while ago. You're going to talk to my brother? I'll try, but it doesn't really sound like he wants to. I hear you. He can be pretty stubborn. It's about the anonymous case, isn't it? From 15 years ago? Mm-hmm. Sometimes, Makoto would have moments where he was sort of weird and withdrawn. Like he was waiting for someone to contact him. I'm sure he's hiding something. Maybe he won't talk yet because he's trying to protect someone. Although... Miss Ray, I promised I would join Stand if you said that you liked me. Do you remember? Hey, I never actually agreed to that. I'm changing my terms. If you can do one thing, please save my brother. Kyosuke. Don't worry. Just go see him. It's been a little while. Good to see you. Hmm. Kiyosuke seems to trust you a great deal, although I suppose that really shouldn't surprise me. That's nice of you, but to be honest, that's not it. Your brother believes in you more than anything. Listen. Meet with Miss Ray. I want you to talk to her. I've noticed something interesting. The flowers in Sara's room are always new. With everything going on, I haven't been able to visit her as much as I'd like, but when I do, there are always fresh flowers there in her room. To be perfectly honest, I think Miss Ray is really the only person who's looking out for Sara right now, and for us. I'll never ask you for anything again. Please, trust her. Always been a sucker for requests like that, especially from him. Nothing else would have compelled me. That's the truth. 
This is something I'd plan on taking to my grave. So, let's begin. The officer in charge of Saura's case was named Masayoshi Ida. After we were told that the case had been solved, and that the cause was determined to be just some random person on drugs, no one seemed to care anymore. But he still came around, and kept looking after us. He didn't forget my sister, or our family. But then, suddenly, Ida stopped coming by to visit us, and we never saw him anymore. I was confused by that, but around that time I found out about the anonymous case, and I... I had a feeling he might be the suspect because I gave him something. The last day that we saw each other. What was it? My novel, unfinished. A crime novel? Yeah, it centers on the confessions of a murderer. You know, I'm a little surprised you wanted to show me this, considering an officer commits murder. Oh, I wasn't trying to imply anything. This policeman. He lost someone he loved a lot, so he's out for revenge. I also feel like, if the person who did this to Sara were to appear before me right now, and then, if I could think up the perfect crime to commit against them, then I might. The protagonist in the story is me, so I stopped him, because he was choosing the wrong path. I wonder about that. Murder can be justice. Those who have a convoluted sense of justice can believe that they're doing the right thing. That's what the novel was about. I know this might sound like the ramblings of an arrogant writer, but I can't help thinking that maybe what finally sent Masayoshi Ida over the edge, that it was me. I was the one who had made him into a criminal. Have you seen him since? Did he ever contact you again? Yes, just once. He apologized for not being able to return my unfinished novel. He even went on to praise me as a writer. He said he thought the conclusion that I'd come up with was a good one. What was it? I mean, what ends up happening to the protagonist? He ends his own life. <laughs> In the final chapter, the protagonist is already dead. One could kind of consider the book to be his last will and testament. That was my plan. So you mean... You guys don't have any new information on him, do you? Correct. All we know is that before Masayoshi Ida went on the run, he took something that belonged to the victim, Mr. Hibia. Later, he was spotted at an unexpected location. Unexpected? It's a little perplexing, to be honest. Because I feel pretty certain he wouldn't have wanted anything of Mr. Hebeus to end up there. Look, Makoto, do you have any ideas that could help us? No matter how insignificant they may seem. Maybe. <sighs> On the phone, right before we hung up, I heard him whisper something. It sounded kind of like he was relieved. Don't worry. I... Don't worry. I gave it to the child. What does that mean? To what child? Fifteen years ago, it couldn't be. You need to hold off on meeting with Miyase. <laughs> what are you whimpering about? Me. Are you here to see Go again? He said earlier he was going out today, so... Oh, no. I came to see Mr. Kujo. You coming? Uh, well, I... He'll probably be out in the garden at this hour, so I'll just take you there. You should really leave if he's not there, though. Sure. Thanks, I will. I have to say, it seems like Go trusts you. You're not a bad person, right? I hope not. <sighs> Oh, that's right. I meant to thank you for looking into those things for me the other day. You really did help me out. Thanks so much. Looked into things? What do you mean? I don't follow. Uh, 
You should go ahead and forget about that night. I'll forget about it too. Still not feeling well? No, I'm fine. Mm -hmm. It's beautiful out here. Do you garden, Mr. Cujo? No. Oh, of course. And Mr. Miyase takes care of this garden, doesn't he? It seems very important to him. That's lovely. It's nice to have such devoted friends. <laughs> huh? I've never gardened. <laughs> but just once. I did send someone flowers. I think they were called Kalankoi. Kalankoi? What kind of flowers are those? I wasn't around when they bloomed. I just looked through an encyclopedia, and I chose the one that caught my eye. <laughs> Mr. Cujo. We've recently uncovered details about a drug called Plus. Rumors are flying around. Some people are saying it's about to be sold on the black market. Tell me, sir, do you happen to know anyone who's going to be involved with this deal? Why would you ever ask me something like that? I have no idea. And I assure you, I have nothing to do with this drug plus. Okay, then. What about someone else from the Cujo family? For example? Well, several years ago at Omori Pharmaceuticals, someone named Yuki Hibia was working on an experimental drug, and there's a very strong possibility that that was the base drug for PLUS. There's also evidence that the data Omori lost on that drug ended up right here at your mansion. Now I see. And I also understand why you stopped by today. But you're far too careless. You disclosed all that information to someone you suspect might be involved. I would admit to anything, of course. I'm not as easy as all that. I'm sure you were all but convinced that your magnetic personality and that strong sense of justice would have gotten through to some of the people around here. But those things won't work on me. That's not what I was- Sure, that might not have been your intention. <sighs> Nevertheless, you're managing to cause trouble here. Which is why I described you as being careless. <laughs> You should take your leave. I'm sure you don't want to make Kaname look bad. Please excuse me. Hey, I'm back. Sorry I'm running a bit late. I'll go ahead and get started working on dinner. That DCD lady stopped by. She did? Though it looked like she just chatted with Mr. Cujo for a bit. kidding me? We still can't get a warrant? They said we don't have enough for probable cause. Even if we're right, our evidence is circumstantial, so good luck fighting that decision. We'll just have to catch him in the act. We need to confiscate the goods as they change hands. Are you sure? I'll take responsibility. First, we need to find out exactly where this deal will take place. Who the hell are you guys? Kotaro Yui with the DCD. We need your assistance with our current case. My name is Natsume. Hope you can help us. We're trying to track down Mr. Soma Kujo. Huh. Like we would let you see him. Wait. Hmm? Track him down? You mean he's not here? <laughs> What's going on? Hmm. 
No luck. Hiyama still won't answer. I see. If any one of us gets into trouble, it's up to the individual to get themselves out of it. That's always been our rule, hasn't it? <clears throat> if he wanted our help, he would have said so. But he didn't, so he doesn't need us to go looking for him. Izumi. Have you guys found anything yet? Well, we looked through Somakujo's computer. There's a meeting with the supposed buyer scheduled for later tonight. South District. Midnight. The sixth warehouse down at the wharf. Midnight. Got a location. We have to go. <laughs> Let's hurry. Yes, sir. That must be it. Let's go. Well, well. Looks like the whole gang's here. <gasps> Mr. Hattori! In the flesh. I was under the impression your warrant request was declined. Well, plans change. You know our boss is incredibly reliable. Oh? But tell me, what brings you here? Really? Do you think we came here to have fun? I'm sorry, we don't have time for idle chit-chat. Then go ahead and take care of your business. Don't let us keep you. Stand operates under its own jurisdiction. Unlike you at the DCD, we have the option to move freely in cases such as this. <laughs> Does that mean you would be willing to help us? Yeah, you can count on us. At least for today. To me in front. Arakita, you go that way. Yes, yes sir. sir. Izumi. Mr. Arakita. It doesn't look like there's anyone over on this side. I didn't find anyone either. Yama and Soma Kujo. <laughs> the others have taken their positions. Let's go. I'm not sure what you're looking for, but it's not here. I'm sorry you've wasted your time. Is that so? You realize we're aware of the drug trafficking route run by the Cujo family. We have evidence that you were going to conduct a deal today. If that's not the case, we would like to know what is going on here. And you know, with so many of us involved at this point, even if we come up empty-handed tonight, we will have to report this to our superiors. As I'm sure you're both already aware, if you choose not to speak up and clear your names, things might get inconvenient for you. Oh, I'm sure they will. You'll see to that. Very well, then. Yes, we came here to meet with someone. Though he probably won't show up now. Why set up a meeting in a place like this? That was his request. Who is he? What's the meeting for? A former attendant. He was previously employed by Soichiro Kujo, my predecessor. I wanted to see if he could give me more information about PLUS. <laughs> the Kujo family is not responsible for its distribution this time, but its composition is very similar to a drug that the former head was involved with. So that means... It's the same formula as before. My predecessor's unfortunate legacy. My goal was to find the current distributor and take care of this problem at once. Take care? What are you talking about? Do you mean to say you weren't benefiting from it? Don't insult me. I wouldn't stoop so low as to rely on that trash. Sorry? The last person to care so much about these drugs was my predecessor. 
They are no longer a part of the Cujo family's business dealings. As the head, I will make amends for those actions moving forward. It's true. I can confirm all of it. He's been looking into his predecessors and trying to uncover their misdeeds. I've been assisting him with this. If that's the case, why didn't you tell us about it? If you had just explained everything, you wouldn't have been considered a suspect. I don't want my family's former evil known to the public. I sought the truth in order to protect the Cujo family now. That's my responsibility as head. I don't expect your understanding. Whether or not you choose to believe everything I've just told you doesn't matter in the least. But, we all know there's not a single reason that I should be apprehended here. It does matter. It absolutely matters. You know that. Aoyama! <laughs> what is it? Plus. I see. I guess I should have known. They resented me after all. What do you mean we can't see him? We found drugs in the trunk of Mr. Kujo's car. That's not something we take lightly. He and Mr. Hiyama are being questioned now. Unfortunately, we can't allow you to see him until that's over. Mr. Cujo would never do something like that. How do you know someone didn't try to frame him? Well, we can't say for sure yet. We do think it's a possibility. You do? Hey, we're supposed to keep that on the down low. And if that is the case, we'll find the true suspect no matter what. I understand that you're worried about him. But please, know that we'll get to the bottom of this. So now we know how you feel. But what does the Ministry think about that theory? All things considered, it's hard to believe that Cujo will get a fair treatment in this circumstance, framed or not. Why should we trust you to handle this? So how'd it go? I told them that the way we found the Plus seemed unnatural, too careless. I suggested that somebody else might have planted the drugs, but that's not what they wanted to hear. Well, that's not surprising. The Ministry and the MPD had to agree to let Cujo skate for a while so they could watch him and eventually take down the whole family. But they'll have to change their approach now, considering how convoluted this has all gotten. With an important witness to the anonymous case like Soma Cujo in custody, they can cover it all up and make sure none of this sees the light of day. I guess as long as they get what they want, how they do it doesn't matter. At this point, even if he was framed for the drugs, Cujo's going to take the rap for it. So? <laughs> what are you guys going to do then? Got the component analysis back. What we confiscated from him was plus, no doubt. Now the trick is figuring out if Mr. Cujo lied and really did have them in his possession, or if he was framed. Honestly, I don't think it was his. Yeah, you said that to the Cujo family too. Be careful. There's no point in giving false hope. That's not what I was trying to do though. Now, now. Okay, so Natsume, can I assume from what you've said that it's your opinion the drugs were Cujo's? Hard to say. On one hand, considering we've been investigating him for so long, it seems hard to believe he could end up going down for such a stupid mistake. Yeah, until the trunk opened at the warehouse. I'd believe that it was possible he was in the clear. And you so say? I only have a guess, so I can't say for sure. So what do you think? <sighs> well, if he really isn't guilty, then I guess I'm wondering who would try to frame him. The way Mr. Cujo reacted, he might have had an idea. Currently, I'd say that our most obvious suspect has to be whoever it was he was going to meet there. Hey, wait a minute. You're talking about someone framing him as if he's some kind of victim here. But even if he's innocent of this one thing, the Cujo family has a shady history. Yeah, Cujo actually admitted that too. Well then something is definitely off. Don't you think it's pretty dangerous to simply take his word?
Cujo, after all. Tell me, the car you are using tonight, is that how you usually get around? Correct, and it wouldn't be easy for a third party to access it, but not impossible either. Any idea who might have planted the drugs on you? There are plenty of people who may hate me or hold some kind of grudge. If you can't be more helpful than this, then I'm afraid I'm going to have to arrest you tomorrow morning. That would be pretty convenient for you, wouldn't it? Good, you get it. I'll skip ahead. It's true. I couldn't care less if you're actually innocent or not in this case, but I certainly don't believe you're squeaky clean. I know far too much to ever assume that. Even if you're choosing not to dirty your hands personally, you committed to keeping the family secret when you became the head of the Cujo family. I'm not going to let you sit here and claim to be completely innocent. You said you'd protect the family, right? I wonder if you really understand what it means to make amends. Do you truly understand? <laughs> Do you even have a concept of how many businesses and enterprises we have? If the Cujo family is shaken, then there's no doubt it would have a ripple effect on this country's entire economy. Protecting the Cujo family? That really means protecting everyone working under that name. I understand that not everyone sees it that way. But I plan to do my job as the head of the family. Are you saying that's more important than trying to make things right with all of those victims? Correct. This is what I've resolved to do. It's the justice that I believe in. <laughs> So, if we set everything else aside, and we keep our focus solely on what just happened today, I think all of us can agree that there's a high possibility that he was framed. A very high possibility. If we set everything else aside, then yes. Should we let him go then? Well, I think keeping him here would be a good option too. It's a chance to find his other possible crimes. This could be pretty beneficial to stand in the end. Yes, I guess that is an option. But then wouldn't the truth get twisted? I don't know if that's something we want to risk. I mean, yeah, you've got a point. What about you, Izumi? Why are you so intent on protecting Kujo? The thing is, I'm very aware he could be involved with the drugs, and that it would be beneficial to keep him here. I do get that. Mr. Kujo might not be completely in the clear, but what I think is that he has his own sense of justice. And right now, I think all he's trying to do is see that justice through. I think we can all relate to that. Mr. Cujo's sense of justice comes from a different place than ours does. I won't try to argue that. But if someone's simply believing in his own justice and trying to seek that out for himself, and then that person ends up being blamed for something he didn't even do, I don't know. I just don't think I can let that slide by. My goal here is to never turn something right into something wrong. It's like Imaoji said before, if the truth keeps on getting twisted, then we might lose something important along the way. That's the last thing I want to do on a case like this. You're earnest to a fault, aren't you? <sighs> you really are, Ray. But that's necessary. Especially with this job, as we know. Yeah. Going after a suspect is a detective's job. I won't argue with that. Okay, so basically, we've decided to go catch the person who's actually behind this, right? Well, aren't you a lively bunch? Yo! Mr. Seki, uh, Mr. Watabe. Good work today. Well, you heard what he just said, so you should be able to guess what's coming next. You'll clean it up later. Right, Watanabe? You mean Watabe. Did you seriously just get my name wrong? But yes, I'll keep the higher-ups off your backs for a while. <laughs> Here on out, Stan and the DCD will be working together as a team. <laughs> Our main objective is to arrest the suspect who frames Soma Kujo. You aren't going home until we catch them. Just keep that in mind. Yes, yes sir. Now then, it's going to be a long night, so how about I grab us something to eat? Only thing open now is a convenience store, so what would you like? Hey, thanks. I really appreciate that. I'd like a caramel macchiato with an extra shot, please. Oh, and make it soy. 
something filling, preferably containing glucose, that I can eat with one hand, please. That's supposed to be a riddle? So, uh, are we allowed to request anything we want to eat right now, or...? Yeah, sure. As long as you remember I'm going to a convenience store. So is this what the DCD is usually like? <laughs> no way. It's never this lively in here. First, we're going to need to find whoever that former attendant was. Yes, I agree. That's already being taken care of. Well, so far it appears that this former attendant really doesn't want to be found. There's so little information that I'm afraid it's going to take some time to track him down. You know you're happy they're relying on you. Well, that goes for you too. Sure does. <laughs> Izumi here. Miss? Kaname? I'm sorry to call so late, but have you heard from Go? He's not at the house. <gasps> Ever since we learned of Mr. Kujo's arrest, Go's been acting really weird. Then there's that night. It's been bugging me. Okay, I'll be right there. <gasps> Mr. Aoyama? Would it be alright if I were to leave for just a little while? What happened? I found out that Mr. Miyase is missing. May I please go look for him? Well, I don't know. Do you think that should take priority right now? It's just that I'm the one who asked for his help. So if in doing that, it ended up making him feel trapped, I can't possibly abandon him. Please, sir. All right. Then go ahead. Thank you, Mr. Aoyama. We wanted to protect something. And we wanted to save someone. We hesitated countless times and we stumbled. But even then, we still kept running, firm in our sense of justice. I don't always know the right answer. But I don't regret the fact that that's how I got here. No matter what conclusion may await me now. For as long as I could remember, she was the only one I had, my only family. My mother worked for the Kujo family, and we lived in a detached house on their property. Thinking back, it may have been odd, but I never questioned it. My mother was always such a kind person. But she would only smile and change the subject if I asked about my father. I was young, but I caught on quickly enough. Don't bring it up. <laughs> then as I got older, something changed. I began to look like someone else to her. Gradually, she grew more and more depressed and lifeless. Finally, she was let go from her position and she shut herself in her room. I was just a kid. All I could do was watch as someone so precious to me faded away. And then, one night... Either get this to your mother or do me a favor, and hold on to it yourself. If nothing else, he'll be relieved to know her son has it. Who 
will. Just hang on to this for me, okay? Someone wanted you to have this. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Mother. So sad that his mother just abandoned him. Wasn't she mentally ill? I guess we shouldn't be surprised. Even though the Cujo family took me in, I didn't feel like I belonged there. The only one who really accepted me was him. Free to use this place however you'd like. Are you sure that would be okay with everyone? It belongs to your family, right? It does, and that's why it's okay. After all, you're a member of this family now too. Why though? Why go through all this trouble? This family has a secret. It's something that I can't escape from. And everyone in this household is aware of that fact. But you, you're not trapped by that. The closer I got to him, the more I understood what he was talking about. The dark rumors that surrounded the Cujo family and the scrutiny they were under. The police and the DCD kept a watchful eye on that household. I assumed he was troubled by the knowledge that he would have to take over the family someday. So, I thought if I could help him, if I could support him just by being close to him, if I would suffice, I would be his family. At some point, I really believed that. So, the son of that poor Miyase woman... What do you think they're planning to do about him? Well, it's not like they need to give him any of the inheritance, you know? He's only a mistress's kid, after all. We were kind enough to basically raise a complete stranger up to this point. What more could he want? Go. The items given to me once belonged to a man named Yuki Hibia. Inside was an apology letter my mother had written to him, full of agony and grief. They were in love, but Soichiro Kujo tore them apart. Why didn't I realize it? My mother was always frightened by how much of Kujo she saw in my face. The Kujo family with their dark authority and filthy inheritance. They violated my mother and destroyed her happiness. Suma Kujo knew about all of it. He was lying to me the whole time. I'll make him pay. I swear. Mr. Oyama? Izumi, are you safe? Yeah, I'm fine. What's wrong? Listen, we just put it all together. The one who framed Soma Kujo is Go Miyase. Where are you right now? Have you made contact with Miyase yet? Izumi! 
Right now, I'm... Izumi? Izumi! <clears throat> Aoyama! So you came after all. But I guess by now, I should expect the unexpected from you. Miyase, I... So what's our plan now? We need to continue questioning the Kujo family. We'll focus on getting information about Go Miyase. The more we learn, the better chance we'll have of finding Rei. Sosei can handle things here. If you wouldn't mind, can you deal with the loud blonde guy? If someone else doesn't get in there, he's gonna bite Imaoji's head off. I'll take care of it. How'd you know I would be here? When we met here before, you told me about how special this place is to you. <laughs> as it turns out, this place is very important to me as well. Even though thinking about that terrifying incident makes my knees weak. I was also here that day, you know. And among all the chaos and confusion, a little boy reached out to me to make sure I was alright. I'm sure he was as terrified as I was. How could he not be? But he was still able to reach out his hand to a person in need. I wanted to be like him, to be someone who was always willing to help. Now here I am. I'm fighting to make sure tragedies like that never happen again. And our definition of justice may be different, but Mr. Kujo has been fighting to protect someone too. Surely you see that. You should know it better than anyone. So then, why try to hurt him? Why like this? You're right. I know Mr. Kujo extremely well. I know things about him you never could. <sighs> Revel found everything we needed immediately. Miyase's situation became very clear once we looked into his upbringing and his family register. He worked hard to gain the family's trust, and in doing so, preemptively warded off any suspicion towards him. Despite having such a powerful father, he never tried to join the family register. He just kept his head down and continued working as an employee. A mother and her child. It sounds like the Kujo family toyed with them for years, doesn't it? That mansion is a living hell. Soichiro Kujo may be dead, but if Soma Kujo is free, the family will never die. And so, I made a plan to bring him down. I wanted to remind you people of the illegal drug plus and bring the family's crimes back out into the light. Now, according to the dealer that Imaoji was questioning, the first time this batch of plus started to make the rounds was about one year after Soichiro Kujo passed away. It's possible that Miyase spread rumors about how the drug was made after finding out who he really was. I doubt he would have tried anything that risky. Miyase knew he had to keep his head down. You can't take down your enemies if you're caught too early, you know? Spreading the materials around was really all he needed to do. With that info out there, he knew we were bound to notice something, but the leak couldn't necessarily be traced back to him. The materials... The signal from the flash drive! Just as you planned, we followed your trail right back to the Kujo family. I had thought I handed you everything you needed. You could gather your evidence and finally arrest him. I had laid it all out so carefully. I obviously didn't consider that you would actually try to enlist Mr. Kujo's help. <laughs> That's rather brazen of your organization, don't you think? Job well done, Stand. That said... I'm afraid there's been a minor change in plans tonight. Hey! Kujo's gone! He just up and disappeared! Looks like his phone is off. <laughs> Do you have any idea where Kujo might be headed now? Mm -mm. Although, I do know of one way that you can find him. I believe there's a GPS tracker attached to his car. Anyone from the Kujo family should have access to his location. <laughs> you can piss off! As if I'd ever cooperate with a freaking evil organization like yours! After all that time you spent painting Mr. Kujo as a villain, now you're after Miyase? Please calm down, okay? 
What the hell do you guys know anyway? Nothing! There's no way he would frame Mr. Cujo! Hmm. You could be right about Soma Cujo. We might have had the wrong idea. But at the moment, there's someone who's in real danger. The only person who never doubted you. <sighs> She's important to us. Please help. Joe family. I felt it. I have a hard time believing that wasn't the truth. What happened to the Miyase I believed in? Was he real or is this the real you? I'm pretty sure she isn't the one you actually want to point your gun at right now. Mr. Kujo! Guess you could see right through me. Yeah, you're right about that. The one I should point this gun at is my- And you finally brought my heart peace. My one and only younger brother. Even so, I could do nothing for you. The one you should be pointing that gun at isn't her, or even yourself. Give it to me. If you really want me to, I'll end it here. I guess you do have some humanity left in you, Soma Kujo. Mr. Oyama! <sighs> Mr. Arakita! What are you talking about? I think you knew very well that if you used that car, we'd be able to track you down. You refused to give us Miyase's name at any prior point. Care to explain what would make you decide to lead us here? Miyase... You want to stop him? Put the gun down, Miyase. Things aren't going to play out how you wanted them to. You're probably right. Don't! Go! Please don't! Let's get you home. Kaname is so worried about you. Mr. Kurishima and Mr. Shindo are worried too. They're waiting for your return. They are! Even if the justice we believe in is different, we're all still fighting to protect what's important to us. And I think that includes you, Miyase. Kujo! <laughs> Arakita! I'll be okay. This is a rather grave situation. Correct me if I'm wrong, but from all that I've learned today, I believe Stan's rampage was due at least in part to your lack of control over them, was it not? I'll have Senior Superintendent Hattery take full responsibility for this. But it began with the DCD's rash actions. On top of everything, they even let the suspect escape. 
I was also shocked to hear that there was apparently a female agent who had gotten unusually close to the suspect. How about we stop this pathetic display of trying to cast blame and talk about the real issue at hand? Stand has always been an independent investigation agency. Hattori should have had total authority there. But he didn't listen to you, so now you're trying to shift the blame to him. I think there's something fundamentally wrong with that approach. This thing is still a project in its trial period. The reason we're here is to determine if it's worth making into an official agency. So that's what we're doing. And as you know full well, I'm here simply as a third party to listen and observe and help ensure that the two of you are making the correct decision regarding this situation. Why not claim something new for yourself, even if only to reap the plentiful future rewards? Here you are. Hey there. I'm sorry, I know I've cost you a lot of trouble. Tell me about it. Uh, I'm so sorry. I am too, for a lot of things. <sighs> so now you're going to officially join Stand, right? Congratulations. Is it really worth congratulating? Well, you said you'd only consider it after your investigation into the cases you were following was over. So I guess I figured that if you were joining, that meant you finally found closure. And what about you and your closure? Huh? Were you able to see it through, your own- To gather them all together and see how they connect. I'll keep going. And search for my-